Alone in the dark? No, it's, it's alone with Dardigan tonight. Yeah, just let that smooth jazz lead you forward. Right. Let the mood chat crack open a cold one. Light those candles. Dust off your spiciest memes. And relax. As we, uh, get spooky with it. Not really, not not a very spooky game, but it, it's trying, you know what? It's doing its best. You know, maybe, maybe snap your fingers while I play, you know, got that jazz in the background, like, yeah. You punch that Cthulhu, Dardigan, you punch it. It's like Alone in the Dark or a Poetry Jam, one of the two. <clears throat> but how you been, chat? Sorry for no stream the other night. I was planning to, but I had a power outage midday that took away some of my writing time from the script, and I had to make up for that. Didn't want to fall too far behind. Gotta try to get this video out by the middle of the month. So, but hey, I, I did also take a little bit of time out of that to start preparing for my cartoon theme song tier list by downloading images to use. So I might be doing that after I finish up this game. Power outage, a power outage? No way, you two. I, we've had a lot of them recently. Hi there, James. What's up? Uh, what is this game about? Noirish detective guy goes to old Louisiana mansion, uh, finds Cthulhu, and other strange activities. All this sax music really makes me feel like I'm in a Twin Peaks episode. That's a little intentional, I think, because I'm pretty sure this type of music didn't exist in the 1930. This was like a, what, 1940s, the 50s, 60s kind of deal? Like the smooth jazz saxophone line? So I think it's a little bit early for it in the, in the, in the time frame. What's up, what's up, Jordan? How are you tonight, man? How are you? <clears throat> it's always Cthulhu, isn't it? More or less. It's always Cthulhu or some other Cthulhu-like thing. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's why you never, you should never make Lovecraft a detective story. Because we kind of already know who's behind everything. <laughs> it's going to be a cult, and Cthulhu's behind the cult. Where's the noir detective monologue? I've got a, a shiny noir emote for you to use. Everything I, so I say sounds like it's a noir detective monologue anyways. Listen to this voice. This voice sounds like it's been drinking whiskey since I was five. And also looking into mirrors while like rubbing my stubble as like beautiful women walk through the front of my, my office door. Smoking long cigarettes. And have missing like brothers or fathers or something. Cold night in the south. She walked through you my fuck office young boys, door. Valdez. Smoking that cigarette. Gifting me over a hundred bits. As if that was enough to pay, pay for my silence. Figures typical. You know, when you actually think about it, Chet, most noir detectives were essentially like incels with a bit of fashion sense. They were like really down on everything. They were depressed, alcoholic, usually didn't like women that much. At least had bad ideas about them. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm starting a new trend. I am. I, I will be the incel detective. <laughs> like fucking women. Always coming to my office wanting me to find their missing lovers. No one ever comes looking for me. Except for when they need something. Yeah, I'll find your boyfriend for you. Probably find him in some prostitute across town. It's that easy. That That's how easy it is to be a noir detective, Chad. You just are apathetical or cynical about everything. While you're doing... You're still getting paid to do it. Anyone, try... Go ahead, try it. Everyone, try to be a noir detective for like the next couple minutes in chat. You'll, you'll be surprised how easily it just rolls off the tongue. This chat got you oo woo -ing. Okay, you cannot be a noir detective and also use the word oo woo You can't be... It was a cold... <laughs> the oo woo detective. It was a cold night when she walked through my door, oo woo Didn't know what she want, but I hope it involved nuzzling. <laughs> Sweaty oo woo nuzzling oo woo <laughs> Uh, 100 bits from Mike. I knew she was no good. Her intoxicating voice and the paranormal visions implanted in my head led me to believe what I knew all along. She was Cthulhu. See? There you go. You've already got the plot of this game. 
what genre would you mix the noir genre with that hasn't been done with? Honestly, I feel like people have just taken noir and added it into everything. Because, like, I'm pretty sure there's been, like, noir supernatural stuff, like vampires and mummies and everything else. Uh, you know what? What about, no, noir detective plus zombie apocalypse? I don't think that's been done yet. <coughs> like, have to start off with, like, the, you know, the noir detective guy in his office while his, like, zombies are, like, beginning, like, to overrun the city. He's like, oh, the city's finally getting what's coming to it. All the wretched filth and degeneracy piled up upon itself can no longer fit into hell. So now it's filled into the spilled into the streets. <laughs> you want LA Noir pretty bad? You know, for a game that had the word noir in its own title, that game wasn't very noirish. I mean, I'm pretty sure I mentioned that in my actual video too. <laughs> Nor Detective Apocalypse is the new Valentine story. Is Nick Valentine's story? Really? What's up, dudes? What's up, Ray? It was a cold night. I was driving around to pick up a prostitute. Ouch. It was my sister. This sounds more like it was like a, one of those like weird subreddits. Actually, is there a noir subreddit for like people just like detailing their life in noir fashion? <coughs> you know what? I want to make a noir app for your phone that allows you to basically translate your entire life into noir. It just like listens in all your conversations and creates like like an like ebook version of your day but like applies like a noir filter to it. It'll be, it's a million dollar idea. I look dashing today? How do you know? I could literally be like sitting here like m slob rotting away. Just like maximizing my slob rot. Wearing weak old clothes, unkempt, like bottles of like strange substances, possibly gamer you know, gamer related activities, piled around me. Strange and mysterious stains on the wall. Best not assume. Darts in a wife beater. You know, I will be honest. I have never worn a wife beater in my life. Just because of the stereotype of how you would always see them in entertainment, anyone wearing a wife beater was usually like this horrible piece of shit. It's like, oh, that's the, that's the, that's the shirt you wear when you're a terrible person. Like, to this day, I cannot see someone wearing a, like, one of those uh, tank tops and not like, wow, this person is like, don't want to associate with them. That'd be perfect for an AR style VR app, I know, right? Maybe if people still go out and buy those three to four thousand dollar Apple Visions. We can make it happen. Also, Lazy, thank you for the 59 month tier one, dude. Thank you. It's double egg day. Oh, but I, didn't, I didn't even have first egg day. You know what? Easter kind of sucks if you're not a Catholic. Never played or seen this game. It will be a good experience. I played, uh, played it a few nights ago. It was all right. It's no Resident Evil 2 or Resident Evil 4, but yeah, it'll hold me over to like Resident Evil I'm guessing nine, or what? Or I guess actually Silent Hill two, if that ends up being any good. I always feel like Sin City did Noah right. I'm, well, Sin City is you uh, know them doing noir, and it's pretty good. Sin City's all right. We break in, break in breaks for Easter and eggs for Trans Visibility Day. I've heard about this controversy. It's it's like oh. Something else to like, you know, make everyone mad. Resident Evil 9 open world. People keep saying that, but there's been no announcement of it. So I feel like people just assume that. Mm, three minutes for the chat to appear. So that's what's happening. Uh, I'm online during a live for once. I'm not sure why it's taking that long for the chat to appear for you. That's a little strange because it's been going ever since I started. Uh, the eggs are so cute, don't break their brain. Did anyone ever eat their Easter eggs? If they were like, yo, hard-boiled? I, 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 I don't know if this is a hot take or not, but I think hard-boiled eggs are gross. Even soft-boiled eggs are pretty like, uh, you know, I don't want to eat. I'd rather like eat an egg that I've scrambled. Like, I don't need my egg turned solid and have to peel open like an onion. Oh, look at this. This, this guy's speaking like the, the Deep Ones language in chat. 
Cthulhu Fatagan to you too, good sir. Cthulhu Fatagan. I unfortunately didn't get one. Well, it's all right. Soft boiled eggs is good in ramen. Uh, well, that's mainly because the ramen is good. Ramen, you can put anything in it. It'll make it instantly better. But like boiled eggs and like, you know, <laughs> I, just, I just like, why? I guess if you don't want to deal with like the mess or like doing any cooking preparation whatsoever, you can just toss the egg into the boiling water. Super easy. But you don't get as much out of it. It doesn't taste as good. It just doesn't, Jen. You can't convince me otherwise. Have I heard of a Lovecraft game on the PS1 called Iru? I have not. I don't know of it. I've never heard of it. What's it about? Uh, do you have a favorite noir story in media? Hmm. In media. I'm assuming you just mean all the media, movies, video games, comics. It's a thing. The thing is, cyberpunk is technically noir storytelling, just applied to the future instead of the past. So I could probably just say Snow Crash. Or, you know, Neuromancer. Neuromancer is noir as fuck. So probably one of those two, even though it's tenderly cyberpunk. Uh, the Greeks paint their boiled eggs a deep blood red, and it's so beautiful. Too bad I hated boiled eggs. Like I said, another another person to the anti-boiled egg uh, group. Go cool, boys. Back from Dartigan. Ba hello back, Dartigan. Hello back. Hello back to you. Like your videos and came to see the research behind it. Hey, eh? well, you're most welcome to like stick around. Uh, expect for me to like completely disappoint you in the way I act because I am I am a clown during live streams I am not this super serious individual you've probably been led to believe by my video content I am easily impressed uh, massive like gamer slut <laughs> and all sorts of other things you're like God, he, I, I'm, I, I should not have watched that stream I should not have gotten to know him gamer slut is a term I just created and I kind of really like it such a gamer slut. It's different from e-girl or e-thought because it means something entirely different. You just got here eating eggs. It's in a nest. Eating eggs in a nest. Are you a snake? Did you like slither up some snake and eat like a cardinal's eggs? How dare you? Uh, it's cool. I'm a man slut. Oh well, all men are sluts to a degree. He plays the scary games for us. That's right. I know Chad is too afraid to play these types of terrifying assaults on your senses, so I am here to suffer for you. Send them all my way. But I mentioned earlier, Chad, I've been collecting images to use for my upcoming uh, tier list stream. Uh, I think I have enough for like a full like your know, tier list stream now. At least I think you know, it's hard to tell how long that'll last, but I got about 50 or so like entries I'll be adding to it. And uh, so maybe I might do that finally after talking about it forever, after I finish up playing this game. Should be pretty good. Should give you a like you know good window in my ideas and tastes of like children's entertainment. <laughs> Heard this game is kind of shit. Is that true so far? Uh, I don't think it's shit. It's definitely not gonna like make you turn your head in a, in a back street kind of like game. It's not like, god damn, look at her ass kind of like moment. It's like, it, it's a game that'll fill the time up if you're waiting for like a better game kind of game. I'm not sure how you would rate that. This is a game you play while you're waiting for a better game. Yeah, that's how I would describe it. It's like, hey, nice little slice, change of pace from what you have been playing. Get you in like, you know, a different mood. Helps you like, you'll wind down. Will you take viewer suggestions for the tier list? Possibly, but not until after I've done all the ones I've collected, because I've mainly focused on ones that, of uh, cartoons that I've watched, or at least were familiar with. After I, like, have all those tiered up, I might take a few suggestions I'll take a look at to add to it from chat. If some darthead quotes a random video of yours, what is the probability you will know the video that darthead is talking about? Good question. I... 50-50, basically. There are plenty of lines I have a good memory of. However, I have nearly 200 videos I've made over, like, a 10-year span. I do not remember everything I've said about every single game. I, or even, like, 
I remember most of the games I've said, that's for sure. But what I've said about them each and every time, or like individual things, can be... It really depends. There's definitely ones that stuck out though. Like, damn, I really nailed that fucking game to the wall by its balls kind of moments. Uh, so yeah, I can't promise I'll recognize something that's my own work. I have to like delete everything in my mind after a few months after I made it, just so I can make room for the next. That's how it is. Naked pictures of your mother. <laughs> have you not heard that song? Naked pictures of your mother. Naked pictures of your mother. I just butchered it. Been 10 years, not quite 10 years. I think this is my 10th year doing it, but it won't be here until like near like sometime in the fall. Like I think if you go look at my uh, Tomb Raider video that came out like it's like nine years ago. Apparently the channel is over 10 years because I started the channel like half a year before I started doing games then. Do I think Stellar Blade is better than Dragon's Dogma 2 and Rise of the Ronin? I have not played the other two games. I will say Stellar Blade's gameplay appeals to me more than Dragon's Dogma or Rise of the Ronin. But I, I... Like I said, I have not played either of those games, so I couldn't really tell you if it's better. It just, like, it seems like it's more down my kind of, like, you know... Preference? Preference? Lucky, what's up? Happy Zombie Jesus Day. You know what? If you go, if you go to church tonight, <laughs> or you went there this morning, make sure you mention that as the name of this day. See what the reaction is. Gauge it. See if anyone turns their head to look at you. I'm sure they'll be fine. Religious people are known for their sense of humor, after all. What's up, YouTube fam? Hey, YouTube fam. Hey, Twitch fam. Yacht gang. Moo squad. Uh, brown nosers. Yeah, I'm, I'm kidding. You're not that, chat. You're not that. Goes over great with my students. Happy zombie day. Mm, yeah, I can see that going over well with students. Have you tried the new South Park? I have never played a South Park game in my life, honestly. I am not a big fan of South Park. I don't dislike South Park, but I'm just like, I don't really care. I don't know, it's never really appealed to me. Some people like hear that and be like, fuck this guy. I, it's like I said, I don't dislike it. It just, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't like any type of entertainment that feels like it wants to preach to me. It's like, I, I'm good. I'm good. All right. I don't need, I don't need that. When I was a kid for a while, I thought Easter was when Jesus laid an egg and that's why we collected eggs. That's honestly a better description of the holiday. I like your idea better. Can we go with that? That way we can all celebrate it regardless of our faith or lack thereof. Don't like the show too much, but games are fun. They've just been RPGs, haven't they? Outside of that one really terrible Doom clone that was on like the Nintendo 64. <laughs> Dragon's Dogma has something with this combat that feels off with their impact of weapons. I only played the one for... I played uh, the... Uh, yeah, I recently played Dragon's Dogma 1 for the first time. I didn't finish it. I only played like two or three streams of it. It was all right. I, I mean, I could definitely see issues with it. I didn't really think I'd want to play it for like hours on end. But I can see why some people get really into it because it does allow like a lot of, you know, somewhat freedom. 2000 years ago, this dude laid an egg. She was so weird. Hey, that's how most religions begin, all right? Something weird happening. Game Slut has a nice ring to it. That could have been my YouTube channel name. Hey, it's Game Gamer Slut. I love his stuff. Have you seen his Gamer Slut videos? They're so fucking fire. So based and lit. <laughs> Love gamer slut. I wonder if anyone. I wonder if any YouTube YouTuber has that name. Uh, hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Gamer Slut here. Now that's an opening to a video chat. <laughs> Ooh, the holiest of them. Hmm. How many people would subscribe to a channel called Gamer Slut? Still at work, so I won't be here long. Hey, that's perfectly fine, Clueless. Uh, hopefully your, your work today is easy and plentiful and you get paid twice as much as regular because you decided to come say in something nice to me. Thank you very much. You've made my day. Uh, hopefully your boss decides to start respecting you today as well. It's like, you know what? I noticed you were watching a stream during work hours. I approve. 
Do you think one day AI of you will send generated games? Yes. One, there's already enough, there's way more than enough of my voice out there for someone to clone it. Not that, not that difficult these days. Uh, there's also, you could definitely train an AI on my videos and my written content as well. So the only problem you'd have to have it, be, you'd have to figure out is getting the AI to be able to play the games himself. Usually an AI has to be trained to play a game first, so you'd have to like train at each individual game as well, and also be able to pick out the story details. But that seems doable with time. Speaking of eggs, there was this lady in the medieval times who would write stuff on eggs and shove them back up the chicken so they can lay it again and then she can call them prophecies. That's a really good grift. But I'm surprised no one decided to like check the egg prophecies against her own handwriting. Like, hmm. Why? And also ask, hmm, why would God write your know, prophecies on eggs of a chicken? Uh, I have modeled your voice, but I felt dirty about it. What did you use it for? You felt dirty about it. I want to know what you had me say. Don't be shy. You wouldn't be the first person to get off listening to this voice. You won't be the last either. You'd sub to Gamer Slut on an alt account. Well, I, when I make my alternate YouTube channel, I'll call it Gamer Slut. We'll see how many subs it gets. What video is this from? They survived this and they survived this. Stick with me, I'm building a theme here. That, I believe. Is that Resident Evil 6? I remember there being a lot of like, I can't believe they survived this moments in that game. You made me read a Sonic fanfiction. Okay, this really depends on what fanfiction it was, because there are some heinous ass Sonic fanfictions out there. Some of them the kind that if I know you have, I will probably call the FBI on you. So as long as it wasn't one of those truly bad ones, uh, we're cool. <laughs> Y'all wondering why there are eggs in Easter egg? It has to do with the uh, lint cause medieval Catholics couldn't eat meat during lint. Hmm terrible game and I'm a big Resident Evil fan. Hey, Resident Evil, Resident Evil 6? Yeah, it's not that great. I think Resident Evil 6, I literally just watched the video with that. Well, you should know that if you think. Oh no, that's Emo Gamer asking me that, not you. Correct from Chris's campaign section? Yeah. See, like, like I said, there's, there's going to be definitely ones I won't get though. Am I, why am I being tested on my own content? Do you guys think I'm not the one who made it? It's a fake. Fake, I swear it. I can tell. He's not a real gamer. I actually stumbled across, like, a video that YouTube recommended to me, like, a few days ago. It was something, it was, like, titled the, it was, like, it was like a hate video someone made on some other YouTuber. But it was called, like, Dreamcast Guy is a, is a Liar. I have no idea who Dreamcast Guy is, but YouTube recommended it to me. Probably because I've been looking up videos on how to mod your Dreamcast. But still, and it was just like this unhinged rant of some guy going off on some YouTuber called Dreamcast guy. Like, he doesn't play the games. He's fucking bald. I was like, oh, wow, these people still exist. These irrational, like, weirdos who just, like, make, like, 10-minute rant videos about how much they hate someone they don't know. Dreamcast guy, I used to watch him a lot. Oh, yeah, I guess he's like a, I, I didn't look him up, but apparently this guy that just, like, Hates his guts and like thinks he's a meth addict who doesn't play Dreamcast games. It was like, wow, this is like going back like 15 years to the olden days of YouTube. Sounds like Griffin Gaming. I, I don't think the person doing the video was some established YouTuber that you'd recognize. I think it was just some deranged individual who had a hate boner going on for this YouTuber he didn't like. Been a while since you got on a stream here. Uh, you mean a stream on YouTube itself? Because I've only been streaming on YouTube for like, well, one month now. Maybe you're, or maybe you still like watch my Twitch streams. Who knows? Leon campaigning in Resident Evil Six is fine. The zombies are bullet sponges, though. Everything about Resident Evil Six is kind of shit. I'm hoping they don't remake that one. Honestly, you can be established and deranged to see Dardigan. True. I should have definitely hard out an exception for myself there. Uh, but no, this was like a very, very like unsubscribed channel from what I briefly noticed about it. 
Actually, let me see if I can find her real quick. Weird tangent, I know, but I just want to, like, see. Yeah, I think this is it. Uh, I think so. Hey guys, welcome back. So, it's come to this. No, this is, he's not nearly into range enough. <laughs> come on, where's it at? Where's it at? Don't you, YouTube, you, you recommended me this video. You have to like know I'm looking for it now. Oh well, maybe he deleted it. Or maybe this is it. Hello there. My name is. No, Brent. no, but whatever. I can't find it now. These are nearly like horrible enough. But apparently, a lot of people do not like this Dreamcast guy. I don't know why I've stumbled into this drama. <laughs> stumbled into drama for something I don't care about. Uh, YouTube night with Dardigan. You know what? This cl this classy smooth jazz does set a different mood, doesn't it? What's the most deranged video I've ever watched? My man, I would probably be ashamed to ever mention some of the videos I've watched. I, I honestly don't know. But it's probably been something of something horrible happening or whatever. Look at your history. The thing is, it would be in it would be in like Chrome, and I only have Firefox open right now. <laughs> Was eating those beans. Oh, good old life is strange memes, huh? You prefer survival horror with combat or no with combat? Not I don't even have to think about it. I want survival horror with combat. I am fully convinced that the whole no combat hide in a locker route can work in small doses, but ultimately I just still like to have an option of fighting back. You have to find a right balance for it. Uh, have you seen the videos of that Nintendo shit cube dude from back in the day? I've never seen it before, no. But I like that Nintendo shit cube dude, you know, name. That's pretty good. It's that, that Nintendo shit. I actually had someone recognize me today, chat. At a Walmart. I was getting like a candy bar. I wanted a Hershey with almonds. I was like, I was Jones in for that Hershey with almonds. I needed some sugar in me. And just like, I was grabbing it. And I was like, it's darting it. I was like, I like, literally did like, I was like the Pikachu face all of a sudden looking around for like a predator. It's like, what? Huh? 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 I didn't notice there's like an adult with his kid like a couple feet in front of me so then I instantly calmed down because then I knew I could like, you know, kick the kid and run if I really needed to. Like, oh, oh well, okay. Small. Small and, small and weak. But uh, it's still like, but uh, thankfully no violence happened, but I, they just like, he's like, he's like, hey, he's like, hey, what's up? He's like, hey, what's up? And I, and I left with my Hershey with almonds. I'm still not used to anyone recognizing me because I don't really use my face that much, but people in my town definitely know what I do. Jumped out the tall grass. Yeah, I had like the Pokemon like music, like <laughs> the screen like circling around. Yeah, it had this sound effect. But that was me for like a solid five seconds. All of you, you know what? Five seconds is longer than you think. Like he's like, oh, huh, huh, huh. You're you're a celebrity now. Well, technically, I've always been, but I like I said, I don't. Well, I've always been. I've been for a couple of years. I just don't sell my visuals enough for people to usually like care. I'm all about that voice, man. If I use the camera more, maybe. Must have had your face from that Minecraft. No, no. A lot of people in my town know what I do because I'm like the only YouTuber where I live. I live in a smallish town. So it's not that. So as soon as anyone there knows that there's like a YouTuber of any like merit there, the entire town ends up knowing. Uh, so, but every once in a while. Most people, though, don't care, thankfully. But every once in a while. Uh, especially if someone went out with their kid. If they notice it, well, like, hey, look, it's Dardigan, son. <laughs> Uh, a wild dardigan appeared. I I am not a Pokemon. You should bother captioning. I'm like a Pal World pal chat. I'm pro I'm like a we have Pokemon at home and it's just me. I'm like I've got like I've taken like marker and drawn like black circles around my eye, and like wearing like a mask and that's that's my that, that's me. I'm a pal. Let's be honest. I'm more like a Team Rocket if I'm anything. 
Will you uh, be visiting children with cancer in hospital anytime soon? If they ask me to. So far, thankfully, none of them have. <laughs> For a second, I thought you were going to say you got into a fight with the kid with the Pokemon battle music. I mean, if he wanted to throw down, I'd have no choice. I would have no choice. I gotta defend myself. Children are dangerous. You've done that before? A good thing to do? Uh, that's never been requested of me, but if, so, if some kid out there actually, like, does, you know, you're kind of obligated. I mean, you're, you're going to. Come on, let's all admit, like, yeah, this kid needs this kid needs entertainment. I feel like darting you want to fight a kid to protect his identity. I would honestly prefer the ninja method where I throw a smoke bomb on the ground and, like, run away. I think we need to normalize that of, like, ninja disappearance. Like, smoke bomb, run. That's my preferred, you know, get out of any situation method. Uh, he's the town YouTuber? I really am. I mean, when you, hey, when you live in a town of only, like, a 1,500 people, not too many of them are going to be successful YouTube. I'm sure plenty of them have channels that they've uploaded content to. But I'm the only one with the, you know, the subscribers that back it up. I'm the only one with that subscriber base chat. What is my favorite metal? I'm honestly a fa big fan of lead and what it does to the brain. And what it's done to society. <laughs> How do we go from you getting recognized to you fighting children because it was there was a child involved with being recognized? That, that that's how <laughs> kind of went hand in hand with with the story actually. Hey Dardigan, did you miss us? I did. I missed everyone. Glad to be back. I was only gone for a day, let's be honest, and that was because I had a power outage and I needed to like spend time working on the script to make up for it, as well as preparing for the upcoming like cartoon theme song tier list stream. Got like an entire folder full of images to use. I guess we'll just like watch the videos on YouTube as I go about it. It's gonna be a good stream, I think. Now, it's, now that I've actually put some work into preparing for it, it's it's gonna be like my first ever like stream I actually prepared for, rather than just like, yeah, hey, I'm gonna do this off the, you know, wing it. I might have to do more of those. The gamer slut. See, now I'm glad I didn't choose that name because well, actually, maybe I should have because then parents definitely couldn't point me out to their children. Like, look, Timmy, it's Gamer Slut. Oh man, I love Gamer Slut. He's the sluttiest gamer ever. See, uh, that would just work. You'd instantly know who's a trashy parent if they did. How many Comic Cons have I been to? Zero. I've never been to a convention before, actually. Uh, also, uh... Lucive, thank you for the 32 months. Damn, 30, even you're impressed, right? Like, I can't believe I'm still paying this dude. Like, holy shit, what's wrong with me? Like, please don't cancel it. I appreciate it. <laughs> please continue to give me that $5 a month. You have no bad how, how bad how, I mean, much I need it. <laughs> These games don't buy themselves, you know. Been very curious. What is my opinion on modern day cinema sins? Uh, well, first and foremost, I have to t disappoint you by saying I have not watched Cinema Sins in, like, gotta be eight years. So, basically, once I started doing this channel, I made a policy of myself for myself that I do not watch other Sin channels to avoid being uh, influenced by anything they do. That means other Game Sin channels, Wind channels, or Cinema Sins, or TV, or any, any of these other Sin-type channels. I do not watch them, just so I do not see what they're doing, I don't get influenced by what they're doing, and I continue to develop things in my own direction. And I think that's been something that's tremendously helped me in, you know, forging my own path. I think I have a pretty clear identity that's separate from whatever they're doing. Uh, so I couldn't give you an accurate uh, opinion on modern day CinemaSins. I have heard people complain about them and say they've gotten, they've fallen off or they're not very good anymore. I could not tell you. I refuse to watch them even to find out. That, uh, so, I, I guess you'll have to, like, come up with your own opinion on that one. Uh, but I, like I said, wow. me not watching any Sin Channel mention. gamer or movie related is not out of, like, animosity toward them. I'm sure they all do great work, put a lot of hard work into it. I just do not want to be, I'm careful, very careful about avoiding, you know, certain mentalities. Like, I don't want to be involved in drama. And I always feel like things like jealousy or irrationality or sort of all sorts of other negative feelings can happen in this in this market if you're constantly looking at possible competitors and comparing yourselves to them uh, so i 
just decided to like cut all that out and not even worry about it and I'm so much happier than I did. Also, Mike Fiero, thank you for the 74 months. Uh, gaming wins is good. Now, I will say this. I did give gaming wins uh, advice when he was first starting his channel up. He contacted me and asked for like through emails, no less, and asked for stuff. And I did do a live stream with him once. I haven't talked to him since then. Uh, but uh, so I'm assuming we're still friends because nothing ever happened. I just haven't like spoken to him since then. But seems like a pretty good guy. I've never really watched any of his videos, though, other than like very briefly to give him some you know, technical advice. Uh, that's about it. But people say he's pretty good, so... Hey, he can be Mr. Gaming Wins. I'm Mr. Gaming Sins. Nice combo. From a distinct species, the population must diverge and be isolated from the more ancestral origin. What are we talking about? I mean, that is true. Didn't know we were discussing that. <clears throat> so I tried some spicy jerky yesterday, and like the first bite uh, gave you the hiccups and had you crying. Every bite after that was slightly burning mouth. You should go watch that video of me eating a ghost pepper. <laughs> now that'll give you hiccups too. And have you puke on your floor and then spend the next 30 minutes chugging milk like a little bitch. That's what happened to me. Oh, that was not a good experience. Uh, facts best to be unique. Thank you. Gaming, uh, when you played Vampire, did you actually hate it that much? Not at the first, I was actually honestly excited for that game because I really like Vampire the Masquerade and I was looking for like another vampire RPG. However, I started getting really annoyed and let down by that game pretty much after day one when I discovered that it was... The game felt like a vampire soap opera to me. It just would not shut the hell up and let me actually enjoy it. Like the combat was mid at best. And it, there's so much talking if you wanted to get any levels in the game. You had to like just talk, talk, and talking in one long drawn out sentence of English melodies and... And then it just didn't want to end. It just kept going. So by the end of it, I was practically losing it. I just wanted it to be over. You pu puked on the floor? Yeah, I, literally like a few minutes after I ended that video, I like vomited. <laughs> Hey, ghost peppers are no joke, man. Watch two girls, one cup. Yeah, but that video is fake. I hate to disappoint you. <laughs> I don't want to, like, ruin the illusion for you, but that video was fake. Didn't watch the ghost pepper, the video with my mom. I feel bad for you, but it definitely got me... I still have that bag of ghost peppers, by the way. I could always, like... Maybe I should make a eating a ghost pepper, <laughs> like a... Like a stretch goal on the Patreon. 3,000 paying members, I will do another video where I eat a ghost pepper. Uh, when you say fake, what do you mean? Are you, are you asking me? Really like the vampire combat. The enemies are repetitive and I hate that you go out of an area and enemies respawn instantly. Uh, like I said, it just felt very awkward, the combat. Don't know, it isn't really known for its combat systems. They don't usually even have combat in their games. It's just like, remember me, that game and that newer game they released about ghost hunting in like the 1600s or something. Uh, but none of them have like fluid actual good combat. It's always a bit janky. But they also played a lot like a Don't Nod you know, adventure game with so much talking and the two gameplay styles just did not match. Also, uh, Linko, thank you for the raid, my man. How was your stream? Hope you had a good time, whatever you're playing. And I hope I can continue to entertain your viewers as much as you were. For however long you were. Welcome. Now that's how you greet frickin' Raiders chat. That's how you do it. That is how you make a person feel like, yeah, this guy's got it covered. Chose a good one. Uh, but no, seriously, thank you for the raid. Uh, oi oi, it was alright. Thinking I'm near the end of this. Uh, at least the Carnby side of the stuff. How is yours? Happy Easter. Well, happy Easter to you as well. I only played this game one time so far. I'm playing as Carnby. I don't think I'm going to play through it twice, though. I got other stuff I got to do, so one playthrough is probably what's going to get for me. I'm alright with it. I mean, this game will hold me over until apparently Silent Hill 2 this year. I need another horror game to, like, you know, get me through those lonely months. But, uh, yeah, it's alright. I got no real, uh, a few technical issues with it, but it's, yeah, it's keeping me interested. Have you seen the Mr. Hands video? No, but is, the only Mr. Hands I know is from like South Park. <laughs> Mr. Hands, you know. 
talk about when we are. Really like the vamp. Uh, yeah, it was tough playing with one hand, but I finished at one a one a.m. Is this a stellar blow? <laughs> no, you're not. You're not. That's not you, sweetheart. I had to look who was writing that because that whole one hand playing thing is like wait, stellar blade. <laughs> one playing stellar blade. There's five chapters in this game. Five is the shortest. That's how it usually goes, isn't it? It was like, oh, make that last chapter nice and short. Can't wait to see the shits, shit show of Silent Hill 2 remaster, Remake. Let us hope for the best, all right? Let us hope it's just a very almost one-to-one -one modern day remake of Silent Hill 2. And they haven't tried to reimagine it. I feel so, I don't know. I would not want, if I were a development studio, I would not want to like task myself with trying to remake Silent Hill 2. That is a, not an easy task. Do you plan to uh, send Splinter Cell Blacklist? Uh, honestly, right now, I'm kind of waiting for Ubisoft to resurrect that franchise to make it viable again. I did send, which one did I send again? Uh, is uh, the one where, the, yeah, shit. I get the name, the subtitle of it. I currently have no plans to send any other Splinter Cell. If I did, it might be the, they're remaking the first one, right? So. I will probably wait until they remake the first Splinter Cell and release that, if that's still happening, before I remake it or I, you know, send another Splinter Cell game. It just, it just seems to be like a franchise Ubisoft has largely given up on. So, yeah, Conviction was the name of it. Uh, I've never, I always heard the other one before that or the one after that, whichever it was called. They only have Michael Ironsides in it and it's kind of shit. You were considered doing an April Fool's video? I did. It was on, uh, the old. Well, you know, you know, the game with the horse and the big stone things, you, you know, you jump on. Shadow of the Colossus. However, that was years ago. So maybe at some point I will try to do another one. I did have an idea for one recently, but I did not have time to make it this year. Uh, I don't want to just basically most. Let's be honest. Most April Fool's jokes suck. We're not, we're only lying to ourselves when we say, oh yeah, April Fool's Day, it's so fun. Like most, 99% of April Fool's Day shenanigans suck. Just so much. Uh, so I only want to do it if I have a decent idea for it. And I think I do, I just didn't have time for it. Uh, just lame, yeah. There, listen, there are some good ones out there, but they take time and effort. You got your first kiss on April Fool's Day? That's man. I I feel I feel awkward about initiating first kiss on the day like that because like what because you, you might get put you know misconceptions in someone's head. I play with one hand and finish Rise of the Ronin solo. Damn, congrats! Splinter Cell Chaos Theory is very good. That is the that's the peak of the series. Honestly, they never really got past that. I never really got to play the multiplayer of Chaos Theory because I didn't have like broadband at the time. And that was like an Xbox thing. So I missed out on that whole cooperative campaign as well as like the the Merc versus Spy gameplay that it was talking about. Mm -hmm. Apparently it was pretty good. Wonder bits, are there any games you're looking forward to this year? Uh well I, this in Yes, but uh, let me clarify. I am looking forward to the Silent Hill 2 remake because I want to see if they screw it up or not. So I wouldn't say I'm excited for it, but I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, how it plays out. Uh, uh, I'm kind of looking forward to Stellar Blade now, but that's coming out in just like under a month, so probably shouldn't mention that one. Uh, There's also that Hellblade coming out in just like another month after that. So we get two games with women that involve the word Blade in it in like the next two months. How about that? Progress, chat. Progress. Uh, so we'll see if that turns out any any good. Honestly, I don't know what's coming out the other half of the year. <laughs> Splinter Cell enjoyers here. There's definitely a few of us. Definitely like a, at least a couple. What is the last time your... What was the last time your genitalia seen the light? Well, I'm not normally outside naked, so in the morning, generally, when the when the sunlight peeks through the window yonder, 
if I happen to be sleeping naked. Why do you ask? It's a very personal question. Maybe, maybe I got him tanned. You don't know. Metal Gear Solid 3 remake allegedly this year. Yeah, we'll see. I don't want to get you know, you know two. I don't want two Konami games like you know keeping like living rent free in my head right now. Some poetic shit. Well, do you hear the music playing? You could snap your fingers to the stream right now. Yeah, Darty can speak the truth. Tell him about the dark years. Play that oboe. All right. Speaking of playing things, maybe I should actually play this game. People have been waiting. I've kept you waiting long enough. We must see what happens next. I kind of forgot what I was doing last time. Space Marine looks sick. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I haven't been able to play the original Space Marine yet though because it won't work on my computer. Did this game get a patch while I wasn't playing? Because it seems like it's a bit smoother than it was. Stop edging chat. No, edging is fun and you will learn to love it. Mandatory 10 hour edging sessions. There's more of that rod again. Like it's guiding me to do something. But what? I need more bottles. If I find the full set of bottles, then maybe I can make something out of the stains of rot. Oh. I don't think I have everything I need. It reminds me of Near Meets Cyberpunk. How's the game, by the way, like out of 10? I would, if I were to give this game a numerical score, probably like a 7.5 out of 10 right now. You know, it's it's good, it's decent. It's not gonna like wow you. But if you're a, you know if you're a lone in the dark fan, it's like yeah yeah that's probably what you'd expect. All right, so we got two puzzles in this room. We got that and that. This is that Uba Ball movie, ain't it? Well, the Uba Ball movie was made from the games. Games came first. Okay, so what do we got to do? I don't see any green on my map, chat. So nothing seems to be solvable right now. How far are we into the game? Mm. Mm. You know, I love a good mm. Love that the look of Sebastian Castel Castellanos was copied. Uh, it's good to see the hoosters. The hosers, whatever it is, name it, whatever it is. Is this his first video game? Feels like a first kind of video game for him. I have to go to Lottie's room and get the other bottle for the puzzle? I mean, yeah, I'll wander around for a bit and see what happens. I'm sure something will eventually pop up. There's also this something where I need missing. I need to find France because someone's stolen it. This is like a Carmen San Diego kind of plot. Carmen San Diego stole it all of France. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Tell me. That one, you better believe that cartoon will be in my theme song, your know, cartoon list, by the way. Uh, okay, so up above us is just the attic, so we can roll that out. Uh, the mezzanine. So if a room is pink, it's been explored. Blue, it's been completed. There's nothing left in it for me to do. Hmm. Pink rooms still okay. Pink rooms still have something to do with them. Okay, so we do have a puzzle piece up in the drawing room as well. I guess we'll just go down a floor. Captain Planet, he's a hero. Gonna take pollution down to zero. 
gonna help him put us under bad guys who like to loot and plunder. I think I just sang a way better version of that than the original. I need the key. Now, if we really want to talk about like obscure, uh, obscure cartoon theme songs, what about Heathcliff? Heathcliff, you're no good. Da 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 the neighborhood. Da 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 da. Like I, I barely recall that show. I need to like stop. I, I, I need to save these for later. We'll be talking about them soon. What's the next game? I don't know. It could be if I really wanted to, Rise of the Ronin, or maybe that or something else. I don't know. I'm waiting till I finish this and do something else before I like pick another game to play. No reason to like getting you all know, tied up in that. Gummy bears. I barely recall that. Gummy bears. Da 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 da. da something like that. You sound like Jack Black. Well, we do. We both have magnificently deep voices, so probably a reason for that. I don't think it. Mm, I know there's something in the grand foyer I haven't done yet. How many Hasbro cartoons will be on the list? I don't know. I didn't really look at the production companies for any of them. This was the water closet. And this is what. I left the window open. Nurse's watch. Thoughts on the cartoon Gargoyles? I didn't get to watch it nearly enough because it was always coming on before I got home from school. But I would catch it every once in a while. Like, this seems pretty cool. But you know what? Screw that. Where are my Zoid bros at? Who else was here like fucking Zoids, man? Shit. Where are my Zoid brothers at? Uh, Dr. Jenkins lozenges. Yeah, we got some Zoid fans in chat tonight. There we go. Fucking been waiting on you. <laughs> Zoids didn't age well. Well, few few uh, Japanese cartoons do from the 90s. Gargoyles is great. Yeah, Gargoyles, from what I saw of it, was pretty good. Animorphs theme, no turning back, no turn. Is that the is that the one? Is that, that's live action about the people who turn into animals, right? Dragon's Dogma Two is pretty good. I will wait for that game to get patched into a better state before I try to play it. How about SWAT Cats? I never watched it, so my list right now is primarily of like cartoons I either watched or at least was aware, pretty well aware of. That being said, I will have, like, after I put together my list, I will take a few, uh, suggestions from chat. So, we'll all be able to contribute a bit to it. A bit, alright, just a bit. Where am I? I am turned around and lost. Thank God for this map. Yeah, we can't get into Don going the wrong way, I think. I really didn't finish up in Jeremy's room either. Nostalgia, yeah, that's gonna be a very nostalgic stream when I do the tier list. People will be coming like, oh man, childhood, you know, unlocked. Why, but I hated my childhood, why are you doing this to me? Oh god, don't make me remember. Your girlfriend just told me that uh, her dad died on April's Fool's Day, and I wanted to ask if it was a joke. I mean, you kind of have to, don't you? The sad thing is, you do have to ask if they're really, like pulling your leg. You had no choice, because maybe they are. Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Hey, Paisanos. 
I was terrified of that show as a kid. Sometimes. Like, why are there, like, two old guys playing Mario and Luigi? Chad, there is something I realized about... Uh, I, I didn't realize just how much reggae was in children's, you know, cartoons back in the 90s. Because when I was watching through a lot of these videos, like, the other day, I was like, wow, there was a lot of, like, reggae going on back then. Okay, this is dumb because as a human with working hands, I could pick up one bottle at a time. Not sure what I'm trying to do. Uh, can't we just like spin them in their place? Like these ones... So it's about the mold marks I need to use, right? But they don't line up. Rotate the bottles. Oh, oh, okay. I, I see now. Oops. Now we can make this work, I think. Yeah, this one, this green one, I think needs to be over here. Oh, I did it. The rot made the shape of a snake. There must be something important to find. Have you ever watched Inspector Gadget? Has something to do with the number. Inspector Gadget. Yep, I've seen it. <coughs> what show first came out there was no lyrics, and they added them in. What is it? Uh, Kids from the Block. Ori the Coward, Courage the Cowardly Dog, Martin Mystery, Totally Sparge, Really Odd Parents. Oh, that's a good list. Uh, let's see. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, 2002. It, all other Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles inferior to the 1990s version. How about Captain Caveman? I've never played, seen, played it. I've never seen it. You directed a play where the kindergartners danced to the Inspector Gadget theme and they're all dressed up like little Sherlock Holmes with that hat and a magnifying glass. Cutest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, I can imagine it's so. another one of those strange padlocks. Wait, what did solving... Okay, it was a snake, right? So... Yeah, the, uh, we found out it was a snake, but now what? Maybe I should have listened. Did you watch Matt McMuscles? Do I watch Matt McMuscles? Uh... Is that one of the former super best friends? It sounds like one of them. How do I get in there? It says this is solvable now. But I don't understand. Uh, I didn't get a c phrase from this. Or did I? Uh, two, five, one? Two, five, seven? I'm going to guess two, five, seven. I also need to look 
where was the the code deciphering book uh Okay, here we go. So I need Pisces, which is the two U's. Two, two, three, four. I need the number two. So Pisces, two, and then circle with the tail. Right, we got that broken plate. Piece of larger decorative plate. It was light and almost wood-like quality. Yeah, you know what's a good feeling? When your cat is playing with your feet, specifically your toes, while you're live streaming. Keeps you occupied. So I have my brain controlling my hands. I have to also control the game. Then I have to look over, read the chat, and now I also have to fight with a cat who's wanting to desperately eat my socks. darts into feet. No, my cat is. All cats are into feet. I've mentioned this before. All cats are perverts. They all have feet finishes. Alright, so... Now we go back down to the boiler room. Can, th can that be a Patreon tier of what? Feet picks? No. I'm afraid not. But then again, if it makes me enough money, maybe I will. I do have really nice feet. Not gonna lie. Can't lie. The feet won't let me. Alright. Chad, my feet are so powerful they've taken on a life of their own. Like you will you will do as we say. You will show us to the world. Can Dex be a tier? She actually is. I have the the highest It's a bit of a joke, but uh, the highest tier, I have three tiers. There's like $3, which gets you all the content that you would actually be interested in. Then there's a $10 tier where I will like do a personal thank you to you at the end of game sin videos. And then there's like a $13 tier where you get all of that plus pictures of my cat regularly. <laughs> $100 per toe. That's probably overcharging for the feet. He's like, this man's ripping us off on our his feet. It ain't that nice. There's one type of dog that the Chinese nobles use for warming their feet. Chow Chows? Used to have a Chow Chow. Good dog. Good dog. Ah, uh, shit. No, bring up the map. There you go. like some kind of rot. It's another plate for the talisman. Like the other one, it's broken and missing some pieces. What kind of cat? Only asking because I don't know what well, my cat? Just a gray tabby. Okay, okay. Well, this one, the first images of this house, that one's pretty obvious, so... I'm going to make sure it's like this. What are you? Okay, kitty, you're really like tearing up my feet down here. <laughs> you having fun? right this one's right though but not this one
watch as I struggle, chat. Watch him struggle. Watch him gasp. This game is pretty cool. Love the mystery. I'm just waiting to see me like I try to kill something. Uh, okay. I think that might be right. Thing is, nothing, none of these, these pieces here seem like they would go well next to the house piece. Tried orange flavor Mountain Dew. You know what? They're, I don't know why everyone tries these different flavors of Mountain Dew. It's the only one they have that's any good is the original. Your voice is that deep? Okay, tell me. Did you think it was a fake voice? I love, like I said, I, I keep mentioning that I love those kind of comments. Where people are like amazed by my voice. Like, wow, it's real. He does sound like that. He's like a freak. So, t be honest. Did you think, I bet he's like, he's like an AI or some shit. But he's fake. It wouldn't have been me if that's the case. Uh, like I said, I, 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 I'm, I'm amused by that stuff. Super deep? Yeah, I don't know how I did it. You know what? This is what years and years of battling, like, yo, know, depression will do. <laughs> that's not true, by the way. But it sounds funny. No, no, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Also, thank you for the bits, Polycarp. Okay, I think this piece and that piece go to there because the, the heels line up behind it, so... I don't think that piece fits, though. Nope. Definitely not. Hmm. Hmm. You had it right before? What do you mean I had it right before? <laughs> it's still a jumbled mess. Okay, there we go. Now we have one corner, I think, finished. Alright, there we go. We're building up. We're building up. Hmm. There we go. All right, starting to come together now, chat. Bear with me. Hmm, that doesn't feel right. the picture in the uncle's journal yeah but I, I don't want to be a bitch I want to figure out just by just by by context clues <laughs> like I have the like the entire bottom half of it complete and I'm pretty sure this is complete as well oh maybe not maybe I need to like spin it around It's got the light beams guiding you there. 
Just these like four pieces you're above it. Like this one and this one I'm pretty sure is right because of the little like you know pop half part. Sun is upside down. Oh. Okay. Pretty sure this is the right place as well because the kind of matches up with the little like cloud you see on the side. Hmm. Rotate the sun one more time. Oh, I was chosen right. Oh, you're right. Okay, this is right. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Maybe this doesn't go there. Nope, it has to because this doesn't fit. So what could be wrong then? You have a nice voice? Uh, well, thank you. It is pretty much my only selling point. Hmm. Hmm. I'm blinding? Yes, I am blinding. I'm aware of this. Because it looks right to me and every, like, except maybe this piece. This is like the only piece I'm doubting. But where would that even, I can't even put that anywhere else. Unless. There we go. Why does that start the boiler? <laughs> Like, oh, God, we have to get that boiler started somehow. Complicated process. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, pressure's back on. That's, wait, is this really going to be a like a code I need? 759? Yep, it most certainly is. Somehow they have a, you know, they made this, like, this will be, this will read out the code when you get it going. 75, someone remember 759 for me. In case I don't. GG. I, now that is how you know you got winners in chat. <coughs> Alright, uh, so we need to do something with this code in this room, actually. Oh, we need to do this exactly. 759, was it? I'll have this upside down again. Okay, big big wheel is nine. Little wheel is five. Middle wheel is seven. So I guess it's like five, seven, nine actually. There is something so soothing and calm about your voice. You ever considered voice acting? Uh, people have suggested it, but I, I don't know. What role would I play? <laughs> I, I, I don't even know how to get into that line of work. Uh, I, I, know, I do know a very talented actress, though, who could probably tell me if I ever wanted to. Uh, but I don't know. I, I don't even, like, I don't live anywhere near where they do recording sessions for, like, voice work either. So it'd probably be a bit of an issue. Please don't become another Yong Ye. You don't want me voicing Kiryu? Come, I think I could do a pretty co convincing Kiryu. <laughs> Dame Dane. Dame o. I if I bother learning the words to the song. Okay. Okay. I really dislike this freaking thing. It's gotten really ridiculous. 
Everyone talks about Kiryu, but what about his Poochie? Voice acting is acting, so maybe learn to act first. That is kind of necessary, isn't it? Please, but uh, I, I doubt anyone would want me for a role. Uh, you can voice a Trent. I'm, I am a very Trent-like personality, aren't I? Probably 975. Uh, didn't I try that already? Oh, no, because not. Black glass is showing another room. Must be a way to another one of Jeremy's memories. Are you not weirded out by any of this, you old dude who's in the game whose name I forgot? Like, you, you just seem to be accepting the supernatural awfully easily. But yeah, it's, yeah, I'm a noir detective. I, 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 I cope. Alright, so almost the entirety of the first floor, except for that wing I haven't been to, has been explored now. So now we go where? Hmm. Came straight from Stranger Things. Yeah, he's used to this already. I'm not sure where to go now. I didn't recognize that location. The medicine bottles had stains of rot on the labels, suggesting no, that's not an objective game. Shape. They just needed to be put in the right. I've already done that. Imagine if this was a McDonald's in a horror house, horror house, so that you get to take a Big Mac while fighting horrors because of the employees. The pay is good. What? I'm a little confused, but you know what? Golden idea. I knew it. I knew it would work. Okay, because I didn't need to worry. It already took me to where I needed to go. I'm a little too good at this. Uh, what was my flashlight again? Is it V? Yeah. You want a horror game set at a Waffle House? Chat, haven't you had plenty of, like, you know, horror games set in, like, children's pizza places with mascot robots? You really want more of those. You've had, like, a decade of, you know, hold on a second, bird. I don't have enough ammo to be sure. I've already killed a bird anyway, so I know it works. I've already done my test. Haw. Oh. They brought that mechanic back. Was that how it does in the previous games where it colors in like rooms you've been to? So I gotta admit, it's one of those like quality of life features I like. Is it true that the meat of McDonald's is harvested from the Great One Cthulhu? Uh, you know what? That would improve the flavor. I support eating Cthulhu. However, I still have no idea what those fries are made of. <laughs> The Hartwood's family crypt. Emily's family must have deeper roots in New Orleans than I thought. I figured she was a Yankee like me. Yankee. Ruins a mystery of the locations for you? What? Eating Cthulhu? Or this right here? Oh, oh, you mean like checking the map? Uh, it's just a helpful way of like keeping you from backtracking too much in my opinion. Mm. 
McDonald's fries are made from Idaho russet. Shh, don't ruin the mystery. Now what do we got here? There's something missing. However, they did apparently used to like make their fries by cooking them in like animal fat, but then they stopped. And that's when apparently their fries started sucking. I'm being mean. McDonald's fries aren't that bad. It's Wendy's fries that are like rancid. Beef stock? Yeah, I've considered like trying that recipe out myself to see if it actually improves the flavor of like homemade fries. Stay fucking dead. You stay fucking dead this time. You missed the plate on the door? What, the door that was locked? Be sure it's like you need a key to get through. How you enjoying alone in the dock, my dude? My dude. It is a, you know, a very, uh, how to describe it? It's a competent horror game. I'll call it that much. Like this? I read that plate. There wasn't anything else. Um, you know, I got one guy in chat. Like, I missed a plate? Where? 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 Missed? 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 Miss, no. I don't think there's anything missing. Oh, you mean that. Blessing. What's this? Ooh, a sledgehammer? Don't mind if I do. Am I sitting this game too? Yes, but I'm first had to finish up uh, Final Fantasy VII though. That's good. That's currently my big ordeal to finish up because I got launched the Patreon with that that game as well. Bring out the big ones. How'd he get so many gains when he was nothing but skeleton? But yeah, I'll probably put this one up against Alan Wake too. Seems like a good option. Actually, we might be getting the Silent Hill 2 remake soonish as well because that was apparently put through the ratings board very recently. Before I go down that way, I want to check out further this way. Yeah, there was nothing, I don't think, besides this. What on earth is that thing? It's like a skeleton with your maggot on it. The maggot. Speaking of maggots, do you know there's like a type of cheese that is like infested with maggots that you can eat? <laughs> and I'm just like, who thinks of that? Who sees like maggot infested cheese like, we can sell this. You know what, there is actually, I need to do a stream on weird bizarre food at some point because chat, there is in, it, there, I just want to point something out to you. You can buy eggs cooked in young boy piss at in some place in the world. You can literally get like eggs that are like boiled in piss from like the virgin young boys. That is a real thing. It's just who, who thinks of that? Like, yeah, mmm, good, tasty. How do you even do that? How is it legal? <laughs> it's like water ain't that rare that you got to use that. Cheese is called Kasu Marzu. I don't know. You know what? Kasu Marzu, if you sound that out, sounds like that's fucking nasty. To me. 
That's how you say it properly in English. Oh, would you like a nice, big, healthy chunk of that's fucking nasty? Hmm, because I don't want to eat any food with a maggot in it. It is to make you feel younger, like drinking children. I have no idea. Whoever, if I ever see someone eating it, though, I am judging them. I am judging them harshly. All right, so that's where we came in. We got another door we can open. We need three of these things, though. Jeremy sketched this chapel in his book, so it must be important. Looks like I'll need more medallions to open it, though. I don't think I have everything I need. EU has made it legal to put bugs in food. It's technically legal for bugs, a certain percentage of bugs, to be in all food in every country. Because there's always some bugs in the manufacturing process that get into the machinery. Amongst other things, too. But, uh, I'm pretty sure most of those companies that are, like, talking about selling bugs that you can eat, most of it is, like, like, what if we, like, fed these to cows? Not that they really expect most people to start eating bugs. There's a coffee made from actual poop. But yeah, it's like, you know, like rodent poop. It's like they have like the rodent eat the coffee bean and then they, but it can't digest it. So then they like take that and then firm, and then like, they, well, they make it into coffee. I'm sure they clean it first though. It's apparently like very expensive. Soldiers to eat worm infested bread. Yeah, but that's because they're soldiers and they're like, they face death every day anyways. So eating some wormy bread ain't a big deal for them. But this is like people who are not starving. And like facing a bullet to the brain if, when they get up in the morning. Who are choosing to eat like your maggot infested your che yo cheese wills. Like oh yes they go to a restaurant and get that shit. Like oh yes my glass of like your expensive red wine. Finest croissant. Oh and there's like some of the maggot cheese please. How do you heal yourself in this game again? I kind of forgot. There we go. Be right back, cat on lap. Hmm, you know what? Well, that is a pressing matter. You'd be shocked how many bugs humans eat daily. I just want to point out to anyone before they decide to mention it about the whole eating spiders while you sleep thing is an urban myth and not true. You're actually eating spiders at all times. Right now, you're chewing on a spider. They live in your mouth. They've actually colonized it. But you don't know, because you're so used to it. Spiders all the way down, Chad. Oh, for fuck's sake. to really turn up that amount of enemies, aren't there? We have little bugs living in our eyelashes. I'm aware of that. And they come out every night and fuck on your face. Why are you playing as Linkara? I don't know who that is, but you know what? I can't help it. I just The game gave it to me. You know, he does have the, you know, whoever, the, he does have that, like, I'm a guy from, like, the mid-2000s look to him, though, now that you mention it. Double barrel shotgun, the classic, you know, right? And side-to-side -side barrels, too, not that wussy barrel on top and barrel below kind of stuff. Press control to sneak. Uh, I almost ate a grape with a jumping spider on it. I had a star staring contest with him as I was about to chew and then let him go. Think about it from the spider's perspective. To him, he almost got eaten by like a world-ending giant.
That spider, it was like a memory of a lifetime. Alright, I feel like we got a lot of enemies to deal with here. Called the over-under, yeah, but I prefer the classic side-by-side. Is this a one pool or a two pool? Two pool shoots both at once. In this game, you only have the option of shooting one barrel at a time. This ain't no doom shotgun. Lady, come, come, my lady. Be my butt of la sugar, baby. Shoot, there was ammo there. Oh, fuck. Good thing they're dumb and stupid. Ammo is too rare not to pick it up. So romantic, what? Come, my lady, come, come, my lady. I literally know what no other words that song but that be my butt of la sugar, babe. <laughs> Gotta go, guys. See you all next stream. Hey, Ray, have a good night, man. Thanks for joining us. Random as fuck, but the dude reminds you of. Carter from XCOM. Uh, wow, I've only ever played like one XCOM game in my life, and that was the one that came out like I think 2010 or so. And I don't remember there being any characters in it, honestly. Such a sexy, sexy, pretty little thing. Something, something got me sprung with your tongue ring. With your tongue ring. Uh, Benelli does make awesome shotguns. I own six of them and an AA-12, huh? Actually, you know, despite my southern inclusivity, uh, yeah, despite my southern nature, I actually don't own a single gun. Don't know what that says about me. Is that true? He's an American and a Southern American at that and doesn't own a gun? How does he expect to do anything like go shopping? Have I eaten chitlins at least? No, I've never eaten chitlins actually. I think that's a very specific part of the South that's in the chitlins, right? But then again, I had someone who, yo, who was it in chat that was always giving me shit for not knowing what a Frito pie was? Like, he doesn't know what a Frito pie is? And he says he's from the southern US. Goddamn classic out here. Have I eaten okra? I don't do well with leafy stuff. I literally, when it comes to eating leafy stuff, I have a specific recipe I use where I take a bunch of veg, boil it in, boil it, and then like blend it into like a veggie spread. Because I especially, specifically leafy stuff, I don't really, I'm like very texture sensitive with food and leafy stuff is like bleh to me. So most of the leafy stuff I eat vegetable wise is broccoli that's been like boiled and blended and made nice and spicy. What's a Frito pie? Something that sounds honestly pretty terrible. It involves... Uh, uh, yeah. Okra is some slimy... Yeah, I, I, doesn't it smell really bad too? Alone in the dark and it's actually dark. Yeah, but not most of the game is actually not that dark. So I don't need to like sneak anywhere. That 
That's a weapon? Well, against vampires, yes. Wait, you just whack him with the cross? Back, heathen. Back, degenerate. Back, Satan. I mean, I guess it should work pretty well, right? They are the evil in your, in your darkness and your dread. Let's assume it's true, but how would you implement an open world in Resident Evil? I mean, the easiest idea would be like you have a small town. Like, say, Raccoon City-like, maybe? And you just, like, have... go So keep it small, but not too big. Have it be like Small Town America, I guess. No, oh, I would choose to do it. You know, I actually had an idea for a VR game that would have been you doing, like, classical vampire hunting. And it, was, it specifically needed to be VR because you'd have to, like, hold the cross out in front of you to keep vampires at, back, at bay. And then you had to, like, pry open their coffin and, like, stake them. I still think it's a pretty solid idea. Maybe one day when you'll... Oh, shit. VR takes off a bit more than... Don't think you need VR for that? Well, it's the idea that you had to actually use your hands to do those motions. Yeah, you could do it not in VR, but it's you know, VR adds that element of you actually being there in the environment and doing stuff with your hands. That I thought it'd be cool to actually have to hold the actual cross out in front of you. Hmm. Okay. Okay, now that I see that, how their arms work, it's actually a torso without a head. It's a pretty good character monster design, it just needs better animation. We're gonna grab that, but then someone's gonna chase, isn't it? Imagine a VR game where you drink virgin piss. No, thank you. I don't want to imagine that. Monster designs don't seem good. And I've never seen anything that adds like a human torso with its own hands to something as a, you know, a full-on arm. So that's a nice touch. Imagine a VR game that doesn't look like ass. Well, I can think of VR games that actually do look graphically are pretty good. Half-Life Alex for one look really good. Uh, that being said, they are a little hamstrung by the fact that they have to render the game twice, once for each eye. So they have to use a bit more power for that. But you can still have good looking games within VR. Burn shot. Wait, why is why did that what did it do there that made that burn? Oh shit. Oh shit. Back. Process should do more damage, I feel. Ow, 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 ow. Drink. Drink, Carnaby. Price. Well, I did beat one of them to death with the cross.
Seriously, so what was flammable inside of a, like, a, your, so, yeah, it's just, a, it's just a grave. There's gonna be flammables in here. So we gotta go down the ladder, but anything else before I do that? Is this happening in Carnaby's head? No, he's actually traveling to, like, other areas using medallions and shit. That's where I went in first, right? Yeah. Went in that way, and we came out that door, so now we go over here. That goes back. Oh. And we need to switch using the pistol because I apparently have like maxed out my ammo for it. Uh, you have one survival horror VR edge of edge of nowhere with a guy trapped in the Antarctica fighting Lovecraftian months. I would say Half-Life Alex has one of the best horror moments I've seen in like years. And that that's the you know the the part where you're in like the bottling plant and you have to like VR like sneak around that monster that can only hear you. That was fucking genius. Which is like one damn good moment. Should be correct, right? Like the lines match up. Oh wait, no, it's not. I'm being doofus. Finger the bird. Did you hear Callisto Protocol is getting a spin-off? Uh, I did not, but let's hope they actually make it decent. Because Callisto Protocol was gone awful. I don't know how you screw up a Dead Space style game that badly. But they somehow figured it out. Like, what if we just, like, have you, like, whack everything a lot? Are we in France? I'm pretty sure you only find catacombs like this there. You are gone awful? Thank you. You don't have to talk dirty to me like that, you know. Wasn't Callisto made by the people? It was made by some of the people, like primarily just the guy who like... Just because a, one or two devs from a former dev studio go somewhere else and make a very similar game, doesn't always mean, mean it ended up you know, being as good as what they were known for. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh shit. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What was I supposed to do? What the hell? Where was my most recent? Where was my? Mo I literally was like, "What? What's going on?" And then dead before I could. You know what? Bullshit. Pure bullshit. And then if you screw that up, you're just dead because you don't get to like recover. No, you gotta run that part. That's not a stealth part.
Yeah, he's gonna run straight ahead. There's too many of them. I gotta get out of here. I would. Fuck. 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 You stand between a man and freedom. Oh, well, shit. Again. I'm gonna need this shot going out to blow that one out of the way. Point of the game that they, did, they didn't play test. Look, we're at that point of the game where they didn't play test it. <laughs> at least not enough. that time okay whatever is that it they stopped following me after that oh cave in how convenient god how convenient that the cave would fall in behind me hmm it's almost like you've sided with me 69 viewers it's almost like 6969 so dual 69 <laughs> it's like how do you even do two 69s interesting shadow that candle's casting. The candlestick doesn't seem to exist in part of the reality here. Sixty-nine to the power of two, exactly. Though that's way too much math for anything sexy to ever exist. Been through there? Math is a big turn off. I don't know. Well, hey, I'm sure there's someone out there who's like, may I tell me more quadratic equations, baby? Dido's lament or lament. <clears throat> How are you finding the game? Uh, it's like I said, it's like a 7 out of 10 kind of game. Nothing terrible about it, but it also isn't really like impressing me. It's not going to make me turn my head lagging and go. <clears throat> Look at that game, man. Nice ass. It's like, yeah, it's, it's like, yeah, yeah. It's like, it'll hold you over. I need to remember how to whistle properly. It's like. There we go. There we are. Figured it back out. Mm. 
All right, we can now oh, go God, over. over here. Doctor. Hmm. I don't see the marks this time indicating what directions they go in. That can't be right. And I didn't, I don't recall picking up a note that says how you solve it either. Maybe they're okay. Maybe oh no 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 go back. You gotta just figure it out. Me. Or maybe not. <laughs> Check the common place book. Uh, That can't be right. Uh, okay, there it is. Finger pointed up, bird pointed up, goat. Goat, finger, bird. That sounded wrong, but it's how you solve it. Goat, finger, bird. You're welcome. Well, I knew I could like look in it, but I wanted to, you know, solve it without doing it. Please don't touch her. Jeremy. What are you doing here? Everyone's looking for you. I know. It, it's all a big mess. No one understands. I, I'm just trying to keep evil at bay. Just for a little while longer. You've got to come back with me. Your niece is waiting at Dorsetto. Emily? Why would you? My letter. I keep making it worse. What is going on, Jeremy? How is any of this happening? I made, I made a terrible promise with someone. The Dark Man. Who is he? No, 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 don't say his name. He can hear us. He's always listening. Jeremy. I need to understand what is going on. I promised him everything. When the sun rises, I will be chained in his sunken desert temple for an eternity. But at least the evil about to awaken and to settle won't harm anyone outside of that cursed place. You're acting crazy, Jeremy. I want to help. There's nothing you can do. And what's all the business about Tarawea? Why did you want to go there? Well, I can't go there. I'm not allowed. But you wanted to. Can I go? Tell me, will it help me to break your pact? Is there something there that would help? 
Why would you give me hope? That's so cruel. Okay. Sounds like we're onto something here. What should Look I- Look out! Behind you! Run! Don't let him take you! Ow, dick. <sighs> oh, I know, he saved our life, I guess. <laughs> They look no, there was something like big and scary behind us. There was something there. The dark man, I assume. My everything. I've seen so many strange occurrences lately. Memories explode into existence and then bind out like tide glass bulb filaments. Dreamscape. Do you think boys nighting? Yeah, it's awfully good. Sink into the sea. Doors that lead to nowhere and absolutely everywhere at once. With all this reverie, I want to think there's a chance that you found a way to remain alive in some way I cannot fathom. Just like I've learned to navigate with my talisman. Maybe you, with all your knowledge, you somehow knew a way. A way to find me again, perhaps in Terroya. Oh, my love, Jeremy. <clears throat> we got the luggage key. Good thing that thing traveled back with us. Uh, okay. Unlock the steamer trunk. Uh, wait. Okay. She's, She's dead. dead. No matter how she no matter died, how she, she looks died, peaceful, she looks peaceful now. now. I just wanted like a painting of grapes, chat. Good old still life. Still life. Good old still life genre. <clears throat> how many of you know my lore well enough to know how how still life equates to me, chat? Probably you know, none of you. I don't think I've ever actually mentioned it before. <laughs> like uh, I I've, I've mentioned before how my one of my first internet projects was to create a live action web series. And that was going to be called Still Life with Filmmakers. So, not exactly much of a connection, but... There is a sort of a connection. Artist colony. I remember hearing about their disappearance. Must have been 15 years or more now. I thought it was like a good oxymoron because Still Life isn't something you usually see in video. Or you don't, it's always a painting. So I was like, ah, oh, what if I called it Still Life? Filmmakers. Then people think I'm intelligent. Smart. Alright, where to a video game? We are gonna go... Uh... We're gonna go open someone's steamer trunk. Which is where? Perose's body. Jeremy's steamer trunk. Which would be in his room, I'd imagine. Which is right down the hall for me. The Barlow, the Barlow lens. Lens that can be used at, by amateur telescopes to increase magnification. All right, I do remember there being a telescope somewhere. Why would he lock that up? <clears throat> okay, where was the telescope at? I'm guessing that was the sitting room. No, it's the drawing room. Or they go down a floor. I, I, I really do not understand who would ever want a house this big. Uh, you have to need a map to get around it. Is that, have I ever been in there? Because that is like... Mm -mm, apparently not. It's like locked. I guess you get a place like this if you really just want to invite a lot of people over all the time. Dishonored has the best painting in gaming history. The best painting? I didn't know we'd ever like judge that. I mean, most of the time they just like here's a all that stuff is just, just here's a JPEG on the wall. 
The best painting in video gaming ever. Alright, so... Uh, we go this way. Let me go over that way, right? No, I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. You wish you had money to buy a house. You would not want to own a house like this. The upkeep cost. And also, getting anywhere in it would take forever. This is the kind of house you buy for it to be an investment, not a place to live. Like, oh, you buy it just to, like, destroy your money for long term. <clears throat> Just the, the audio in this room is still bugged because it starts playing the radio, but then it like cuts out. We saw the hallucination star chat. Find the talisman. Wait, how do I? I can. What? Right. Oh come on, game! Start giving me sliding puzzles. Have you not had enough fun with these? Whoa, what's going on? It's dialing in something all on its own and it's showing the way to another memory? Where is that? Mm, fireplace, table of flowers on it. Could be anywhere, really. <clears throat> is that not a bug? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that audio is a bug. not playing how we're supposed to. my objective. Another world. Tells has shown that the gate will open in the dining room. Right, over here. So back to the stairwell and boom. How's it so far? Do you enjoy it? I heard it's kind of rough. This game, it's definitely rough. But uh, I, I've, uh, I can enjoy it like a you know, spooky like mystery horror game. It's fine. I don't know if you'd pay, want to pay full price for it though. Might be a better way to Brazil. Plot seems like it's moving. I don't know. It's not moving a direction that I can kind of piece together either. 
Like, are we not worried about our the person we came here with? We haven't seen them in a while. <clears throat> when will you do a tour of your 33 billion pound mansion? Is, is there any house in the world that costs that much? Unless you get it, like, gold-plated. I don't know. I'm glad to see you made it. Oh, the, oh yeah, chat. The view numbers right but now are 6969 across two websites. I guess this must be terrible. You synced up. <laughs> You're being you? dirty, chats. You're being My dirty. My name is Juan Luis Jorge, and this is indeed the convent of Tarawea. You'll have to excuse me, but Jeremy never got your name. The name's Edward Carnby. I'm a private investigator. You're not a patient, are you? No. I'm the author of a book that Yermi once found important. How does that work? Are you part of this memory as well? Is this even a memory? Your interaction or perspective I think story makes a more manifestation sense. of Yermi's eh, subconscious would be more correct. And so is the convent of Tarawea. I'm a man Yermi has never met. And we are in a place that he has never been. Okay. So are you here to guide me or something? I have no more purpose than you do. I simply am. I will happily help you, of course, if I'm able. If you are already somehow part of Jeremy, why did he want to come here? Isn't he sort of here already? Jeremy wanted to come here because it's a representation of his mind at peace. When Dr. Gray asks him to find his focus during his sessions, this far-flung convent is what Jeremy imagines. He is yeah, under the impression that if he could physically come here, he would reach a perfect equanimity. A spiritual apotheosis. You don't think it would work? Jeremy subconsciously knows it's just wishful thinking. He can't come here. Despite the pathways opened by the dark man between their seto and Jeremy's psyche, it's simply not possible. But I'm here. <laughs> Indeed. It's a shame it's just another place for you, detective. Otherwise, you could have become a Buddha. Always a bridesmaid, never a blushing bride. Am I right? <laughs> yes, I suppose so. You'll have to chase enlightenment elsewhere. So what's the next best thing? What can what's I do? What's a musical? How are you doing? You should seek out the convent library and try to find the truth about Yermi's relationship with the Dark Man. It's the sort of knowledge he represses and is unable to reflect on. Will it tell me how to break the pact? Perhaps. At least you'll have something to confront Yermi with. Wait, why can't you just tell me? I don't know such things. You'd be better off consulting the text of Dr. Freud if you want such answers. <laughs> no thanks, I hate shrinks. There is another thing you should know about the library. He is here as well. The dark man has been working his way through the text for a long, long time. He's here? How am I supposed to get past him? Be careful, detective. Oh, jeez. Just perfect. Dex, what are you doing? <laughs> Stop playing with my Pepsi can. Uh, so... I have a statement to make about this. Uh, this game is, like, plot is a little boring. <laughs> and I kind of just wish they'd stuck with a more... Uh... The plot of the original game was just like two people exploring a creepy mansion that, you know, someone like a pirate or something had taken over. But there's like a, you know, a Lovecraftian worshipping pirate who wanted to be immortal. I think that's probably right now a little bit more intriguing to me than whatever they're going for with this right at this moment in time. I mean, there's still time for it to pick up, but at this point it is just like this is a little, uh, a little vague, a little too vague. <laughs> Like, we're meeting this dude in, like, a mindscape, and he's talking about Buddha and enlightenment and, like, healing from your, your demon. I, uh, feels like one of those plots that's trying a little too hard, but doesn't have a clear identity. I think, I think when you... Sometimes I feel when the series you're working with, the people who get control of it want to, like, make it into more higher, you know, in more intelligent entertainment than what it originally was. They end up making something just far less enter entertaining. 
Like, I feel like an Alone in the Dark game, it shouldn't just be, like, schlocky horror. Because sometimes that is just fun. Because I feel like that's what you Alone in the Dark originally wanted to be. I just want to be, like, a schlocky, fun horror game. Because whatever they are going for, it isn't really reaching me. I mean, like, I'm enjoying the game, but the plot is just not hooking me at all. Dark man can be near low at the tip. I don't think they're actually using anything from the Cthulhu mythos other than, like, you know, indescribable yo evil from beyond space and time. Like, they're not adapting Lovecraft. I don't think Alone in the Dark ever actually adapted Lovecraft. It just borrowed the, the concept. Just to clarify, we're inside Jeremy's mind palace that he can't enter. And we just talked to a man he never met in real life. He never read it, the guy's book. Yeah. It's one of the things, it's, it's just like a very high-minded concept that doesn't really feel at home in Alone in the Dark. I feel, what's up, Doctor? How you been, man? Should just be dick monsters? Dick monsters can be scary. That is true. It's also this guy's characterization. He just doesn't seem to be startled by any of this supernatural stuff. I kind of expect at least a little bit of like, holy shit. What's going on in here? Like, oh, hell no, I ain't doing this stuff. Just like activate a little bit of the bad writing and horror, you know, you know entertainment. You know, sometimes it's necessary. Chat, I for one envy the day when we can dumb down our video game entertainment again. I envy that chat. Make our games stupider. It'll make them better by default. And make my job way easier. I'm going to point out that a popular JRPG is about the president of the USA surviving a nuclear bomb and getting de-aged and isekai'd into a fantasy world. What JRPG is this, pray tell? Because that sounds fucking amazing. <laughs> he got nuked and de-aged by it. But then not... He's thrown into a... Well, the isekai'd fantasy world is kind of lame. But the rest of the description is not an awesome. There is one JRPG that I remember playing a demo for back on the thing is like the PS2. I think it's called Shadow Hearts, and it is a very, very strange JRPG. Uh, that I might want to try playing again at some point. Funny you say make games stupider. I got stuck at the Resident Evil 4 church puzzle and I felt so goddamn stupid I uninstalled the game. Well, I wasn't talking about puzzles, I was talking about their plots. Sometimes video game plots need to be a little dumb to be entertaining. Yeah, you'll see if you want a longer, more intelligent sounding version of this, you'll you know, this uh discussion, you can go watch my Resident Evil 4 remake video where I kind of point out the same thing. That Resident Evil 4's plot is so ridiculous and goofy, you can't really like take it seriously, but they tried their best to in the remake. And it just it didn't quite hit as well as the original game did. Without you know, all that like the goofiness. In fact, I'll be pointing that out in the DLC video I may I already have made as well. Right, chat. Resident Evil 4, separate ways. It's made, it exists. Shadow Hearts 1 and 2 were two of your favorite JRPG. I only, I didn't play one, but I played a demo of two. But then I kind of forgot about it for years and years and years. Uh, Carnaby was a drunken lout in the original. Yeah, but you don't really ever see that. That's just like a description, right? Uh, let's see. Nino Kuni 2, Revenant Kingdom by... That involves the president of the USA. I thought that was like uh, the Nino Kuni games or like you know Studio Ghibli RPGs. Did that statue be there? I don't think so. Not in a traditional placement. There's something missing. Hmm.
I might need to get a new mouse soon. I've, I've been using this mouse forever. Even though it still works, it is starting to get, you know, worn down pretty much. I also think maybe, maybe we should also turn my DPI settings down a bit more. That might be a little too high and jerky for everyone at home to watch and, like, look at it smoothly. Yeah, we'll go with that. Mind you, a bombshell? No, that's a game. I'm not familiar. Uh, Shadow Hearts from the New World. You play as a teenage detective and as you team up with a Native American lady in the Prohibition. Yeah, the one I played started with you on a train fighting a guy in a top hat. And then you go to, like, some demonic village or something. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken in that game, don't you find a lot of gay porn? <laughs> and you trade it in for, like, battle dresses or something? <laughs> Like, we desperately need more gay porn to, like, increase our stats. Hurry! Or save the world. This game locked at 30, I'm playing at 60. Kodelka? I've heard of that game. I heard it was not very good, though. Okay, let's just leave it back down there. Legit was watching a playthrough of it. It's to die for. More yaoi. Yaoi. Know that you can become friends with Al Capone. Now that is a freaking idea. The Great Library. The Great Library it was endless, beautiful, and terrible. An Akashic record for the universe. Inside the mind of Jeremy Hotwood, now corrupted by a story forced upon him, told by a maniacal liar, an evil conjured by science and secrecy. I will suspend a room and lock away the foundation of his character. Its key will be left to the librarian. The only thing invisible to the Prowler. Hmm. Make a sequel to Van Vanquish? That was the, the, you know, the Platinum's, like, weird third-person shooter, right? Where you have to, like, you're, like, caught in the middle of, like, a space war between Hillary Clinton and, like, Vladimir Putin for their stand-ins. Shadow Hearts VA did not give a fuck. Good. Well, I gave a turned in an amazing and at least memorable performance. Is Platinum even alive? They are alive, but they have not produced anything good since uh, that cop game, Astral Chain. <clears throat> so they're not exactly doing well, and I believe like their head guy recently like retired. So who knows how that'll affect them. Saunter faster. Look, you can even when I press the run button, it ain't that fast. France on this map by any chance? No. Harder, faster. Harder, better, faster, saunter. Do -do -do -do. You know what? I like this version of the song. Key of Hubertus. Check that one. 
there. The unmasked evil. Uh, forbidden. That gives me forbidden knowledge. Outside the door for me. Like I'm here. Shoot me, you try to shoot yourself. That's a nice touch. You aim the gun at me, like, yeah, put it to your own head, idiot. How do I get past him? Like back up and let me like. Oh wait, you got enough going here. I'm nearly dead. Got one HP here. I've got, I've got alcohol. Don't worry. Sure, why not? What's happening? We were chased by the dark man. He looks like he's a bit like an Egyptian guy, so who knows? Yeah, we need to get over there, but our boy here can't jump. He got bored and left. He ran out of darkness. I 
feel refreshed after a pint of brandy. That has to be one of the most English... I don't know if you're English or not, but I don't know. Just talked about... Oh, pint of brandy. Oh, good old pint. That, that, that is one of the few most English things you can ever say. Not that it's a bad thing. It's just like, you know what? It's adorable, in fact. You might as well add it in, like, at the pub at the end, too. That's the equivalent of American, like, man, I love me drinking a beer after eating, like, a big quarter pounder burger or something. Reminds me of those old medical practices where they get the patient drunk before operating on them, since it's something, well, that's all they had to and done the pain with. As a yell, that's before the old, old painkillers were a thing. Like, hey, what if we get them smashed? That way they'll be too drunk to notice. Here's something. What we got here? It was in the hot autumn that I went through the night with the restless crowds. He was a kind of itinerant showman who held forth in public halls and aroused widespread fear. The New Orleans address of the event is lost, but I remember distinctly the Prext shipping company pressing their contribution. Uh, I was reading that. You're here, detective. Sitting all alone in a place like this. I'd never live it down if the papers got wind of it. Hey. Ruth, right? Oh, don't pretend you don't know. I'm sure you have a whole file on me by now, detective. Chad, all people did in the 1930s was drink and we smoke. From what I'm getting from, like, you know, fiction based around those time yes, periods. Ruth Talon. In case you're wondering. It's what lack of internet Edward will do Carby. to a person. Enchanté. Are you sure? I had too many already. Nice. It's good. Who's the Alan Wake dude who just helped us? We only met him tonight. He's like a figment of some dude's it. imagination, actually. I heard you're trying to break Jeremy's promise to the dark man. Yeah. Do you know anything about that kind of stuff? Oh, no, yeah. But it makes you wonder if he made a promise, can't he simply stand by his words? You ever saw a protagonist Look, I'm just trying to get take Jeremy a book and read it without ignoring so them? Yeah, but he apparently someone. doesn't need to do anything to kill you. Well, just like being near fails. him will make you kill yourself. What are you doing? <laughs> it's a sign of submission to the dark man. I saw it in a dream once. What? You don't know the Prext Shipping Company by any chance? I do. They made big money during the war. But their waterfront office is just over there. What? Oh. How did you do that? Do what, detective? <laughs> Bonne chance. Hey, have you seen Emily Hartwood anywhere? 
Are you trying to make me jealous, detective? <laughs> no, I haven't seen your doll anywhere. I'm confused, chat. Don't do it. Don't do a video game. What did you not want her to do? Be honest. Could you pull off the Noir detective look? Yes. I had the jawline. Well, I have to like keep like a like a you know an undrink uh, uh, like a glass of brandy in my hand and like a cigarette with me. But yeah, you could put me in like a vest like that and give me like a yellow shoulder strap. Trilby on my head. I got the jawline for it. I got those classic looks, Chad. The classic me. The classic 1930s man. I mean, I was literally doing like film noir impressions at the beginning of the stream, you realize. And a pretty good job at them, too. Fedora, yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, I got the, I got the, you know, the head to wear a fedora. Cosplay, flick. I actually did once uh, for Halloween dress up like I was from the 1930s. My mom got this like really old uh, suit. I guess from like a Goodwill or something. That really just fit it. had like the vest and everything. And I remember dressing up as that. Going to my neighbor's house for candy. It was told. Even foretold back even in those days chat. As someone who doesn't like to smoke or drink. I can never be in a Nora detective scene. I, I, I don't like doing those things either. But I could still pull off the look. Cosplay pick when maybe someday. Maybe we'll make that part of the Patreon. Cosplay pics of Dardigan. Guess Dardigan looks like Booker DeWitt. Not terribly far from that. I don't want to let's claim my you know, exact, but I'm in the same like you know, category of like that kind of style and look. Like I keep my hair like you know, pretty my, you know, look at the hair the hairline. <laughs> the jawline. Uh you know, flop you know, the you know, the straight you know, hair that just like you know, very thick. <laughs> Uh, anyone who's seen me before in my streams can like you attest that I'm not actually just making this bullshit up. It's like, yeah, yeah, I hear you, YouTuber. You got your you just giga chat over there playing your video games. Yeah, totally. Idea that one of a Noir detective's clients is an Eldric figure that puts them through Lovecraftian mysteries is actually a cool concept. I like the idea of inverting it, though. If I were to make, if I were to be tasked with making a video game or setting a story in this area and making you a Lovecraft game, Valdez. I would, <sighs> yes, cues for 100 bits, huh? But thank you for the 100 bits. I would actually set it so instead of a detective, you're like a gangster, and you're working for like a mob boss, and maybe you like raid, you like rob like a museum, steal some like ancient shit. I think that'd be a cool concept. Uh, he's a dishwater blonde. Yep. What they call a dirty blonde, dishwater blonde. And it's like six. Look at Puff over here hyping me up in chat. She's like giving out my entire Tinder profile. Genetic lottery. Uh, in some ways, but only recently, actually, because the whole six one thing wasn't a thing when I was a kid. Like being tall has always been like one of those like a, you appreciated facts in a man. Uh, but the specific whole six foot or six one, you know, ideal man only became a thing in recent years. Uh, but yo, know, I but I mainly just kept my hairline. I didn't lose hair, which is you know, always a nice thing to have. He worked for that jawline. Technically, I didn't. That just came in naturally. I got lucky. My dad was short. My dad was shorter than my mom. In fact, I got my height actually from my mom. My mom is like six foot, so she she a tall lady. I think my dad was like, my dad was a full head shorter than me. And I was like, I remember being amazed by that the first time I noticed it when I was finally a teenager and I looked, actually looked down at my father. I was like, oh shit, this is weird. Uh, so I think he was like, I don't know, he, he must have been like 5'8", something along those lines. All right, we got the matchbook. Classic, oh, forbidden knowledge from the matchbook. Prexed Shipping Company. According to the book in Tarawea, the Dark Man is connected to a performance that Jeremy went to somewhere in New Orleans. I'm sure I can. F I don't know where to go. It's all an enemy running around. Scurrying is the word I should use.
He worked for that. Yeah, I've been mewing my whole life. Is that what they call it? The whole mewing trend? They get that, you know, the classic male face. You gotta mew, man. How hard have you been mewing? Dude, you should you should be home mewing right now. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what they call it. I don't know what it entails, and I think it's bullshit. But there are some dudes like mew for hours a day. Why'd that cross sound like a gunshot hitting that? Let me try the door over here. It's locked from the other side. Now, homie mew. Yeah, it's, it's like, I know it's, uh, what is mewing? It's like some kind of trend that's caught on with Gen Z. That supposedly if you do it regularly, it will like shape your face into more classic manly features, which is like those hollow cheekbones and, uh, you know, indented temples. I, I don't believe it actually does anything, but many people are convinced by it. Darian is streaming on YouTube. I have no idea who Darian is, unless you like misspelled my name. But yeah, I'm I'm streaming. I've been streaming on YouTube for about a month now. But I'm also simultaneously streaming on Twitch. So I haven't left my Twitch bros behind for like this new fangle the old streaming platform. What game is this? This is Alone in the Dark. Just came out recently. You know, I wish I knew the damage values of a cross versus a shovel. Durian? Yeah, I've heard about those. Not eating one of those. You can't actually work out your jawline? Well, there are muscles there, so you technically you can, but most of your face is shaped by bone structure more than muscle structure. Machine gun cartridge. Okay. What even is that? Debris. Debris. Okay. Do you know anything about what's happening at this in this plot? There's like a guy who made a pact with the Dark Man, but we don't really know much beyond that. We're trying to help him like break out of that pact. Sort of something like the old man damned by a promise to a the old the, Juju. Hmm. Still Easter, let's say the cross does more today. <laughs> you know what, that'd be a decent idea for like a, a weird gameplay mechanic, that if you use a weapon on a certain day, like a holy day, it actually does do more damage. Following a flappa through Silent Hill. Basically, yeah, she brought us here. Oh shit! Didn't know you guys tackled. Ow. Swig. Swig. I'm out of alcohol chat. Can't heal myself. Are you looking at two windows to read chat? I have both chats open next to each other, so yes. They're literally side by side. Helps that I have one of my monitors in vertical stance, so I have a lot of real estate for that. That was funny to you, throwing a bottle having instantly- Whoa! Lunge? Yeah, I mean, that's that's a good moment. Clip that, in fact. We're really going through the ammo now, aren't we? Don't forget, YouTuber fans and Twitch guys, you can clip stuff. I can even make a playlist of those clips. The sewer system has a tunnel running right below Preg's shipping company. 
I bet I can use it to get inside. Wait, this is the dude, Black Pharaoh. Temple of mysteries, miracles, dark magic, wonders. Okay, maybe they are using an actual Cthulhu, I mean Lovecraftian guy, that Nyarlathotep. Because he did dress up like an Egyptian, or was called the Egyptian, and ran like a curio museum. You again. Ugh. Ugh. That guy's trying to like mess up my cheese, chat. Must, I must, must infuse the cheese. Maggots. Do you have a favorite Lovecraftian story? Like I said, it's actually Nyarlathotep. Out of all of them, I find the most interesting because he's the only one that actually legitimately wants to fuck with humans. The rest of them couldn't really, don't even know we exist because we're too small and insignificant to them. Whereas he is like one of the like most powerful beings in existence, but like deliberately chooses to mess with humans. So it's actually, even though there's like barely anything on him, it's like there's like a poem and I think he shows up in another story and that's it. But it's like way more intriguing to me than like some of the other, you know, greater old ones or out, outer gods, I guess. Typewriter ribbon. There's also a kick-ass rock song someone made of Nyarlathotep. You, you guys want to hear the Nyarlathotep rock song? Hold on a second. If I can even find it. I think this might be it. Once everything's yeah, perfectly organized, I'll start working on my thesis. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. Like an Egyptian, like ancient actual Egyptian. What's going on in your Nyarlathotep, like ancient Egyptian rock song? But yeah, there you go. You've now you have been made aware that ancient Egyptian rock exists and you can listen to it. There goes stream. I don't believe this that's like from an actual band that has like you know that kind of like you'll know, pull. But if so, it's fine. I can just like mute that section. It's a weird song, well. It's, it's interesting to me because they wanted to sing a song about Nyarlathotep and they like went to the trouble of actually like getting it made in ancient Egyptian, which couldn't have been easy. Anyways, we have like shit to do. Can't play like music all night. Checking that out later. Yeah, I think it's just just looking for like Nyarlathotep. Actually, what was the name of it? it it's just called Nyarlathotep, but it's only like a three-minute song too. So, it can help you out. Pretty good. I used to have that on like a playlist on like my MP3 players. I buy that. I mean my phone, <laughs> my old ass phone that I used to have. <laughs> I could have gone my whole life without knowing about that song. You hated that. That's pretty good. Like, you like, I fucking hate it. <laughs> Come on. It'll be like that. Had, it had an interesting beat to it. Had interesting lyrics, like, you know, in a language you've never heard before in your life. For all you know, that song was cursing you and all the children you may have. 
to like eternal damnation of like having ants crawl up your urethra. How, how, how metal would that be? Ants in my urethra. Yeah, metal. He's still streaming on Twitch right now. Yep. Must have died on me. What happened to Twitch streaming? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing them simultaneously. Sebastian. So Twitch streaming still going strong. It's just now I'm double dipping. <laughs> However, I will, I will be doing some streams that are like only for Twitch and only for YouTube as well. I'm not going to stream every single thing simultaneously. Like I'm thinking that uh, upcoming stream that is going to be uh, the cartoon theme song tier list will be YouTube only, actually. Mm -hmm. So make sure you've hit in that chat YouTube, guys. Anyone on YouTube, make sure you hit that bell so you get notified. I don't know why I don't bother doing that. I should, because that apparently really helps. Hit that bell so you get notified. And my streams and videos show up right in your feed. Steve Dorsky. Okay, nothing else to do. Hmm. Do they still make desks like this, by the way, that have the big rolling shutter on them? I always wonder what was the point, unless you can, like, lock it. I guess maybe they look more elegant. Like, I don't want to, like, have people see my cluttery desk. They cover that up. Now, the tip also known as a crawling chaos, you know? I believe in, like, the, you know, the lore. He is, like, one of the most powerful, like, you know, outer gods. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Bad times, bad times, bad days. Roll top desk. Yes, they still make them, and yes, you can you can lock them. Like I said, yeah, that. And I was also just wondering what the point is. It is it just like to hide your clutter. It's like I, I won't even see it. What do they think of me? Give me a lot of bricks and stuff to throw, but not a lot of actual useful things. Oh, that's a, that's a lot of that's a lot of dudes. You just had to get stuck there. <laughs> well, I guess it kind of works in my favor. <laughs> but I gotta get past him, but... <laughs> You're not feeling great, Puff? Uh, if you're heading to bed, have a good night. Sorry you're not feeling good. Bark. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, fuck. 
fuck, 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 fuck. This is bad. This is real bad. So bad I fell to the freaking wall. Rough time, shit. Uh, in the escape room, you could unlock, and there was a secret note you could find in it. Uh, talking about escape rooms. I've been in an escape room once. It was pretty cool. I was not coming out this time. Did you get the key, right? Yeah. Also, uh, damn, Aaron Hines, thank you for the 10 memberships, dude. Any of you got yourself a membership of Aaron? Send him your love. Blow him a kiss. Because he's being extremely generous right now. Talking about an old, tiny desk like the one you just saw in the game, and it was a prop set piece. Yeah, I could definitely see it being working over that to hide something in it. this left said don't make me teach you this lesson they taught me a lesson oh, oh wow uh montezuma just get the 20 memberships in on youtube <coughs> well um, uh, let me take a sip for that one i just drained what i had left of my drink uh but big thanks to you both for the membership bomb, uh, and be sure to spread the love if any of you got a membership from them. They just gifted a bunch. That's like 30 memberships in like two minutes. So a lot of you just got gifted one. Blow them a kiss. Give them a shoulder rub. All consensual, please. Do we teach you this lesson, old man? Look, I keep thinking I can kick more ass in this game than I can. But as soon as like a group of enemies is on you, you're dead because you can't move away. And also it gave me a weird checkpoint because that that thing is already activated all the way back there. But the checkpoint put me back in this room rather than where I activated the crane. <laughs> so I wasn't expecting those three guys to show up like that. Good, good shot. Sugar daddies in chat. <laughs> oh, no, I think I think they're just, you know, showing support. <coughs> I appreciate it. I'm hoping I'm bringing like the 30 membership jokes tonight. Can't be for sure if I am or not. <laughs> Maybe I was earlier, uh, but I appreciate it all the same. I'll use it to buy more video games for the play for everyone. Why not checkpoint you after the crane? That's what you would normally do, but they checkpointed me after the crane, but put me in a different location. So it's kind of weird and throw me off. But we, we did. We managed to survive. What happened? Went to go pee and came back to Edward covered in yuck. I was like fighting some like yuckies. Some dudes and I threw Molotovs at them. They dead now though. And also uh, like 30 gift memberships in like one minute. So that happened as well.
The charcoal. How are you still alive? Oh, I'm nearly dead. Drink the alcohol, Carnaby. Drink it. Because I love Dartigan's content for a while. You're welcome, everyone. Happy to have one. Well, I hope I continue to like live up to your expectations, my man. I will have a new video for you, hopefully by the middle of the month on FF7. That gargantuan-ass game. Oh, that is, I'm I'm making pretty good pro, uh, progress on the script currently. <clears throat> I still got a lot to get through, though. So much to get through. I just went through almost all of my ammo, by the way. <laughs> almost all of it. You could have just run down the stairs. You just wasted a bunch of ammo. Okay, let, let me reload then. <laughs> I didn't realize I could do that. Because ammo is getting pretty tight in the game. Will the rebirth be three hours or four? Uh, it should hopefully be shorter than the FF16 video. On the standard for what game sins? I hope so. Right, let's Molotov these guys this thing properly. Shit, it's not properly. You start playing yakety sacks at this point, all right? We did it. It worked. What I've seen of the modern Final Fantasy games, they just don't see that fun to play. Actually, FF7 Remake and Rebirth were actually very fun to play. Gameplay wise, that is. Speaking of your FF16 video, you didn't have subtitles for that one? Yeah, that one was a specific case because one, for two reasons actually. That video was incredibly long, it would have taken me several more days of editing to add subtitles to it. And I literally had to catch a flight the next day after I dropped it, so I had to like leave for a week. And so I just like, okay, I have to put this out because I, I'm not going to be home for a week to put subtitles into it. That being said, at some point in the future I would like to upload subtitles to YouTube systems so the, they'll be there for people who need them. I just have not had time to go back and like do any for it. Also, Montezuma, thank you for uh, your own membership this time. Much appreciated. All right, we're just gonna run this time. Actually, they didn't spawn. Been surprised how much fun you're having with the combat of 7 Yeah, I actually think it's probably the best like combat system they've made since like I guess FF10. It's like the first time they've ever managed to really pull off like okay, what if we like did the best we could to like combine our ATB system with like a live action like hack and slash of it? Uh, so it has worked pretty well, and I don't really have too many like actual solid complaints against it when it comes to how the combat works. I even like how the- even though I'm not a huge fan of stagger mechanics that FF Final Fantasy tends to love, I do like that at least in FF7's games, the stagger mechanics change depending on the type of enemy you're fighting. Some enemies have different like pressure and stagger mechanics where it's like not always just like attacking them. Sometimes if you like dodge them, you'll pressure them and then you can stagger them easier. Or like use a certain spell type on them, or like attack them when they're doing something specific. So it adds a bit of a puzzle mechanic to fights, I guess. Hmm, let's walk through this filth. Do you want to see FF9 remake? Uh, interesting question. It depends. I would not want FF9 to get the same treatment FF7 is currently getting. I don't want a remake that big of FF9. 
If they wanted to remake FF9, what I would say they should do is they should make a, a, a remake that's in the same style of gameplay and presentation as the original game. So have it be a game with fixed camera, isometric camera angles like the, the PlayStation Final Fantasy games all had. And have it all, yeah, so have it be like that. That would make it way cheaper all of a sudden. You don't have to expend on too much as well. You really, because FF9 was already pretty solid plot wise, so you don't really need to like go out on wild tangents except for maybe like. Maybe flesh out a few characters like uh, Amarit and Freya, because Freya's plotline kind of ended at Clara and didn't really advance anymore after that, so they could like do a bit more with her and actually give Amarit something to do, as well as maybe Quina. <clears throat> but they should also even like maybe keep it turn-based like it was originally. You don't need to like change the combat too much in it. So essentially, you'd be remaking FF9 almost exactly as it is, but with like modern technology. That would be the way I would suggest doing it, if you're going to, which apparently they are, in terms of, like, making a remake, that is. Mm. Fix the writing, too. I'm sorry, but the writing in 9 was terrible in my experience. Vivi was only the good character, and, I mean, to each their own. I actually really like the characters in 9. The cast is, like, really good. Mm. I think, it, like, whatever it set out to accomplish, it worked with me. Hmm. Lead pipe? Hmm. You're not actually, there's no reason to bother you, it seems. So, yeah. A, a much simpler remake is what I would you know, recommend they do with FF9. You could also do that. Honestly, considering how much money Square Enix seems to be like burning on their games recently, a much cheaper style remake would be in their interest. That way, they wouldn't have to split it into like multiple games. You could do it all in one and have it cost way less than either one, any one of the FF7 remakes, and probably still turn a much bigger profit. More like along the lines of Dead Space remake, new graphics, but not that different from the game. Yeah. Pretty much. It's just also, I'd like to see like a PlayStation 1 style Final Fantasy game made with current day technology. So you have those fixed camera angles, uh, isometric fixed camera angles. You have like turn based combat. Uh, you could, you can have voice acting, you know, you don't have to change that, but it'd still be like, just take like a, imagine a PS1 Final Fantasy game, but made with like Unreal Engine like 5. There you go. That could be pretty good, I think. What you talked about before the, uh, yeah, I've mentioned this a couple of times. That's how I would want them to do FF9. I don't want a full on FF7 style remake of FF9. And I don't think Square Enix can even afford it. While they're actually currently doing FF9, because they probably don't want to spend another like 10 years making a three game, three part FF9 remake. <laughs> Something like Octopath Traveler. Octopath Traveler, yes, but that game was all in like pixel art, whereas FF9 was full 3D. Except for the backgrounds. But that, that old 2.5D style would be good for like an FF6 remake or something. Swamp thing! Da -da 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 -da. Enemies in this game are very blind sometimes, have you noticed? Go stand right in front of that dude. Hello? Don't mind me, partner. How's the game so far? Eh, it's pretty janky, but you know what? It's got a little bit of charm to it. Oh, a pipe here somewhere. Yeah. Melee not viable in this game. No, you can melee. Uh, but it's usually once enemies are on you, you're going to be taking a few hits. You finished Rome and now you're sad? Well, yeah, you destroyed civilization there. Uh, you know, I was about to compare you to a famous guy who tried to destroy Rome, but you know that might seem like a bit of a stretch.
Good job, Hannibal. You ruined it. Remember when Tara Reed was in that Alone in the Dark? I never watched the Alone in the Dark movie. I knew better than to watch Uva Bowl movies. But Tara Reed's career went downhill and she was only in like schlock for a long period of time. I don't think it ever recovered either. That movie, like, he, I'm not sure which is the worst right. movie. Like, wasn't the postal Maybe movie he the made warehouse. the actual worst one? The office must be upstairs. He also made like a really crappy Blood Rain movie, where he hired strippers or something for to like do roles or something. You need a Revengeance remake? Uh, that would be a good idea. Yeah, sure. Why not? Or like a new Revengeance game. All of us Uva Bowl. All of us Uva Bowl. What does Uva Bowl do these days, actually? Because I don't think he's. I think he's retired, isn't he? Like the last I heard about him, he was like he offered to like box all of his critics, and one of them accepted, and he kind of beat the shit out of him. Womp it. Severed horn. Okay. It's more that forbidden knowledge. A waffle boy from Waffle Crisp. Could you at least like Google the guy's name? <laughs> Probably had a name, you know. What mystery do we uncover? You can read the forbidden knowledge, it's just lore, really. Doesn't do anything for me. Yeah, no reading it, as far as I can tell. Ooh, a fish hook thingy. Or a fire poker. <laughs> Makes more sense. Once again, that's his name. I mean, I mean, that's pretty lazy on their part, then. <laughs> Waffle crisp kid. Does press sp I was pressing space. How does one mummify a coat? Uh, you wear it for a couple years and never you'll wash it. Fun fact, you'll be mummified along with it at that point. We getting a Tommy gun? I'm not yeah, the only one. I, I know one. Tommy guns apparently really suck, but you gotta admit it is like a cool looking gun from its time period. I mean, especially when you had like the drum magazine on them, they literally call them the typewriter at that point. It like it fits the the period perfectly for its design. It's like as close as you'll get to like a steampunk machine gun. Our ship was raided while in dock. All of his things were recovered, but blood was shed. Several men were carried into the Mississippi River and drowned by ones who live in the deep. All items have now been signed and delivered. Now let's keep the papers safe. What, 
is left. Later is right. And hell is back again. That seems like a clue, the way they highlighted that. What is left later is right and hell is back again. Chicago typewriter and the drum magazine were a bitch to load. Yeah, it apparently was not the greatest gun. It was like really hard to aim at anything. It hit, had tons of recoil. It just is like aesthetically pleasing. So thank you for the 100 bits, Polycarp. <clears throat> yeah, they're prone to like jam up. Okay, water later in hell, huh? I have no idea what that even means. He did say something about the Mississippi in the note too, didn't he? Several men were carried in the Mississippi and drowned by the ones. All items have been signed and delivered. Now best keep the paper safe. What is left later is right. Hell is back again. Just, I don't really get the whole water later in hell reference. Count the letters that are highlighted or just check the spot where you picked up the note. That seemed, I was thinking that the amount of letters, but that just seemed kind of dumb. Like it was right here that I picked up the note, wasn't it? And there's no real clues that I can see. Because that'd just be like four, five, four, if that's the combination. something down here I need Ugh. there's definitely gonna be enemies down here they give me way too many of the bottles for there not to be enemies coming down at this point some Something after I solve this. Uh, but it doesn't look like there's anything down here either. Alright. 
Alright. We gotta actually think about this one. It ain't gonna solve itself. Still vibing with the Louisiana themes? Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm just trying to figure out this stupid puzzle now. What is left? Later is right. Hell is back. Anything on this map that corresponds with any of that? I told you what it was. That's well, I tried four five four. And you also said check where you found the note, but it was like right here and there or whatever it was. Blinding? Yeah, I guess so. But uh, yeah, I tried 454. Four. That didn't seem to get it unless I did the wrong order. Or, like the wrong comb the wrong, turned it wrong. Oh, I did. I turned it the wrong way. I see. I was expecting it to be smarter than just the same amount of letters. September 19th, 18, I was thinking like clues in the environment kind of thing. That would like, oh hell, drugs. like a painting. It's like, oh hell or something. <laughs> I can't, I overthink puzzles, all right, Chad. I expect better. Thank you for the hundred bits, by the way, Polycarp. Four streamer trunks, props, one sarcophagus, Egyptian coffin, one large wood crate, stage decor. Here we go. The address where Jeremy first encountered the Dark Man. More in here. They know I'm here. One car. God, you're so slow, Carnby. Boy needs to like you know, increase his stamina. Good though. Excellent. All right, so now we head down the street. Looks like the fog cleared up. Oh, the flop house. That's where like all the poor people would live, right? Like the, all the like exploited workers, like super send them to the flop house. Let them live amongst the rats and life. This is a little bit too much like Silent Hill right now, by the way. Cheryl, is that Cheryl? 
I'm looking for a little girl. Just turned seven. Black hair. Have you seen her? Let the game use their heavy fog weather design. I mean, yeah, but they're also just using it as like a barrier to make sure you don't go that way. Like, not this way, video game guy. Not this way. Ooh, another one of those. Is this where he was like setting up a secure? Oh, that is a big building. That is full of pizza. How can you sit there and eat pizza? That is full of pizza. How can you sit there and eat monsters? Now that's a scary the idea. Technically, it could also be true. Silent Hill, like, readjusts itself to, like, meet your fears, chat, and, like, display them to you. So if you were afraid of pizza, or maybe Italians, uh, Silent Hill might just be, like, a town full of, like, pizza and spaghetti. <laughs> and, like, oh, God, you gotta keep it away. I don't know what to do with all that. They, they put, you know, they, they put, they, they broke the spaghetti noodles in half before they put it in the water. And that pizza, my god. It's all sugar. Oh, you know your snares are classy when they get the metal to keep the carpet down. Spaghetti space monster. Oh, the, the old flying spaghetti monster. He could be a silent enemy easily. It's gonna be full of pineapple pizza for the Italians. I mean, I gotta admit, I like Italian food, but they are way too, like, Italians are a little bit too anal about it and being like, you know, you must do it this perfect, this way. The way it has been taught to me by my grandmama. If not, then I spit upon you. So you use chicken in a cabanera? this is all about please do welcome detective to the greatest show this side of the mississippi oh it is him now the hotel the black pharaoh the ancient magician who lived a thousand lives and wore a thousand masks i can see why you settled on calling him the dark man saves your breath so you got scared by a stage magician and now he's living inside your head. You can mock me, detective. But you would be the crazy one to think his presence can be ignored. Look where Finish we this. are. No. <laughs> How about that? How about you finish this? There are four cows we didn't get in to an apple. Our last conversation, Which so one didn't? You were about to tell me how to break mm -hmm. the contract with the dark man. Play my Hannibal mind games, why don't you? No. Can't. We died on loose on the world. So many innocent would die. But there is a way to break out of the deal. There is. You offered me a way out. Steps to take. What are they? You'll never find them. They're forever entombed in his sunken desert temple. Jeremy, I'm not your enemy. 
Tell me where to go. How do I find the temple? No, we can't. I have to make this sacrifice. Ugh. Wow, we are easily God pushed it, over, Jerry. aren't we? I'm going to save you. Don't worry. You eat people? Certain parts of people. Like, we seem like we're so stocky and big, but that little guy just keeps knocking us right saved. over. Well, he's gonna get saved no matter what. I just need to find the temple somehow. Find the temple. Hmm. Oh. Well, I don't have a code to use on it yet. I think our guy skipped leg day. <laughs> yeah, well, that would explain a few things. Certain parts, certain parts. Okay, I think I had notes on this, didn't I? Yeah, those guys down there. Uh. All right, so we got this. So that's the we need these numbers. I think that's like two. Hello, what's up, James? How you doing? So we have that. Then we have this big M curly Q, and then an H. Two, it's one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, two, eight, and yeah, two, eight, five, right? I think that's right. Two, eight, five. Feels right. <clears throat> Sounds right. Should be right. Though it could also be like two, five, eight. Okay. You'll calm down? No, I, I appreciate your excitement. Yeah, so it matches up with this. Two, five, and then the eight. Hello, Peps. Just thought I would stop in, say hi, and see how it was going. Pretty well, White Wolf. How's your day been, man? Uh, no problems on my end, though. It's been a really good stream tonight. Solid energy all around. Ooh. Alright, go inside. How much of this game is left, by the way, to anyone who knows? Should I be able to finish this the next stream? I live in your basement. It's a very comfy basement. Oh, hey, it's that thing that's going to happen in a few days. It is apparently going to, like, what is it again? Shut off all the power? In that total eclipse. Either that, or we're in a chapter of Berserk, a very, very bad chapter of Berserk. 
What chapter am I on? I don't know. No, you're not supposed to look into Eclipse with unaided, you know. Four more streams of this? That cannot be the case. Your love is like a truck berserker. I want to make King fuck berserker. Berserker. I'm more prone to like darkness imprisoning me. All that I see, absolute horror. I don't know. I don't know. Those are the words. I look like a church bell. I think you look like a hottie. Sorry, I'm like quoting berserk bloopers right now. We find the dark man, he unlocks a new mini games. Oh, I'm, you know what? I could do with a few more mini games in my life. A sunken desert temple. I better get down there. This man knows no fear. How long is this game? They're lying. They're, it's not that long. It's a horror game. They're, no, they're never more than like, a, like probably around 15 or so hours. At their longest. Rope. Useful for climbing and tying people up. The temple of Nephron lies under ah! a camp. Despite all efforts, that unholy site will collapse, bits, but like sink our... beneath the sand. The pharaoh is long dead, his name meticulously stricken from oral ancient writing. But that stage meant for blood and terror remains. The temple is said to be lightless, built to harbor all the haunters of the dark found in the very depths of our universe. Calling on the gods meant creating a bridge between our world and theirs. The terrible Aldebaran of Taurus, the Black Sun, was seen as the most important star in the night sky. Because, according to the Kitab al -Azif, it was said to be the home of that crawling chaos known as Nyalahotep. Through ancient mechanisms, it was said that the priests could open shafts channeling the light emitted by that strange stone called the Shining Trapezohedron. Several streams pulled together above the statue of that dark man would then be sent through space towards the Black Sun, a message to the gods. The gifts bestowed on the sender are completely undocumented, but often assumes to involve dark blood pacts, where souls are traded for malicious miracles. That was very well written, by the way. That, that was some, like, mwah, writing. Very close to actually what you would see in, like, a Lovecraftian, like, piece of fiction. I really need to sneeze, but it's not happening, by the way. And I don't like that feeling. You got school tomorrow morning? Good night, hey. Have a good night, man. Thanks for being here. Hope you like the stream. Boog. Is it dead or not? I can't tell. It's like... Okay, it's wasted bullets. Go sniff some white pepper. I actually don't have any white pepper. Which I should get because I keep making fried rice all the time. Where am I tying this rope off to? Right there. Here we go. Guess you can't shoot the birds. I have shot the birds though. Just not those monster bats. Need to make some egg fried rice bad. Yeah, I've been making a lot that pretty often recently. Also been making uh, beef bowls a lot recently too. Cause goddamn, those things fill you up nicely. And they're also just freaking tasty, man. 
fried rice with hot white pepper. Mm, yeah, like I need to get, get like a bag of white pepper. But uh, yeah, beef Asian beef bowls are fucking delicious. I feel like I'm suddenly back in Tomb Raider. It's the star constellation from one of Jeremy's books, the Taurus. That one star is clearly bigger. Must be important. You've not had good fried rice since you left Michigan. Uh, one thing I also need to get, I need to get a wok. And maybe, well, if I really want to make proper fried rice, you need like a wok and a gas gas stove to cook it over. I don't have an, I have an electric stove, so I need to get like one of those portable like gas like burners and a wok if I really want to make proper fried rice. I've just been using a skillet on my electric stove. Yeah, a camper stove. Well, yeah, they, they make them for your indoors too. Um... <clears throat> Ow. Ow. Totally sending Yoshinoya for PS2 for Dart to send. It's a beef bowl restaurant simulator. <laughs> now that's a game. You know what? Some guy just had on the PS2 like, you know what? I want to make this game. Will you give me the money for it? I'm like, what do you want to make? Uh, beef bowl simulator. <laughs> Like, you know, how much is it going to cost? About a million or so. How much do you think it'll sell? Probably maybe like 50 copies. What if we walk into the laser? Nothing. I got a feeling this is it. This is where the contract is hit. But how do I get to it? But I, uh, currently I'm able to make beef bowls pretty well. And like I said, they they are good. They are. I, I make enough meat to last me and rice to last me a couple days too. Hideo Kojima made a walking simulator. Technically, he didn't. It's just a game that involved a decent amount of like walking puzzles. Take the walk to Poland. Why would I take a walk all the way? Oh, is this like a reference I'm not getting? That's what beef bowl is. Well, to me, like I said, it's not a proper beef bowl. Like. Uh, it's just like what I just buy some hamburger meat at the re <laughs> at the store next to me, and then I spice it up with like hoisin sauce, oyster sauce, soy sauce, uh, some sugar, pepper, uh, sesame seed oil, and I think one or two other things. So it, like you know, then you like so you spice up the meat, then you put that on top of a big bowl of rice, and also onions, shallots, and you'll. Know, you know, you know, onions and shallots in it as well. And garlic. But it's still really fucking good, man. I'm hungry for it now. Like, like I wouldn't mind a bowl of it. It is song. Also, walk is another word for lean. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Let's see. I didn't know that. But I appreciate the lesson, though. Great feeling, yeah. I usually end up making a bit too much. It's like, yeah, I can eat this entire bowl. And then I'm like, I am stuffed. <laughs> the horizon. Men's craft with unexpected precision. that shit go and everything and tastes good yeah, like I, I just put it on like you know, fried rice for myself and it's like more than enough like I said I make like a big batch of rice and you know mince meat for it so I just like for a couple days I'll be eating that every day for supper 
look up a recipe and try it out. Yeah, I recommend it. It's not difficult to make, especially if you have a rice cooker at home. That already takes care of like half the work for you. Have you done the story modes of all the Mortal Kombat's? Any chance of doing Street Fighter 5, 6s, and Tekken 7 and 8? They added the same idea. Uh, <clears throat> Street Fighter 5's definitely I've had the idea of doing because that is essentially like a clone of Mortal Kombat's story kind of like telling. I, pl I started playing through 6, but I never finished it because it wasn't really doing anything, <laughs> to be honest. It's like, go find your friend. He is missing. As for Tekken, I know nothing about Tekken, the series overall, other than like, yo, know, angel people or like devil people throwing each other off of cliffs. I feel like if I started like sinning like seven or eight, I'd be totally lost on any history or relevance or like references to older games and characters and stories. And I'd get a lot wrong. So I'd need to like do a lot of research and like look through the history of the game to know who's who and what's happening. Have I used soy sauce? I always use soy sauce in my fried rice. Not fried rice, not a bit of soy sauce in it. I also use only the yolk of eggs too. I don't I like separate the yolk from the white. So I, you know, get only that good yellow, like good yellow egg sauce on my on my on my rice. I toss that in there and mm, good shit. Be fancy with it, chat. Get fancy. Treat yourself. Hmm, you're going to make me hungry? That's the plan. I will make all of you eat better and more delicious food by by, by talking about it constantly. I need to find more lenses. So glad I'm able to find bullets in this ancient Egyptian tomb. Do I want a little tip for the fried rice? Sure, hit me up. What's your tip? What is my favorite Sin video I've done? Uh, I usually mention the Until Dawn video because it's the first game I ever live streamed. Uh, I don't know if it's my best video, but it's one that stuck out in my memory because I feel that's when my personal style started to evolve into not just being like a like a Cinema Sins clone entirely, like my actual humor. Like, like you know what? I don't need to like just do what they're doing. Let me like go in my own direction. Uh, but I also think my Life is Strange video, the original Life is Strange video, was also a really important one, too. Uh, but a lot of people also mentioned my FF13 video and my Kingdom Hearts videos as being really good. But I would say also my Resident Evil 7 video was a big one. So, I don't know, it's hard for me to pick one. There's, I feel like there's like a whole category of ones that have been important to like my development as a content creator. Yep. Fried the egg white and a little bit of white part of scallion first. Add egg yolk in the rice and mix it up before add in the pan. Uh, so fry the egg white with a little bit of white part scallion. Hmm. I think I've seen people do that in videos. <clears throat> Usually when I see people like cooking like professionals cooking like fried rice. They'll have their walk out and they'll pour a little bit of oil in that to get hot. Then they'll put the egg into the oil and like let that cook for like a few seconds. Then they'll dump the rice on top of the partially cooked egg yolk as well. Is that what you're talking about? Oh, children of a dark sun. Thirteen vids were fucking masterpieces. Well, I spent enough time on them, so I'm glad people like them. That was like a full like month or two of work for that one game. Uh, keep my, eh, you know, I think a pickaxe does more damage than a fire poker. 
your voice is way different from my my voice is way different from what from my videos because it's pretty much it's, it should be about the same i do very minimal voice uh video uh, audio editing uh when i record lines oh no no you mean my voice was way different back then oh yeah it was different back then because i was doing more audio editing and i was also trying to speak in a different tone of voice because i thought no one would want to listen to my monotone <laughs> Like, I thought if people heard this voice, they're like, I don't want to listen to this shit. Happy to catch a stream finally. I'm happy you're good, too. Wait, haven't you caught them before? I guess you haven't caught them recently. Alright. Oh. Zap the bat. Zap the bat. All I can zap. I think I need this one pointed over there if I want to get a mirror for it. Wait, no, 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 no I see. <clears throat> What do I sue to record my? What do I do to record my lines? I just use uh, Adobe uh, Adobe Audition. <laughs> Works fine for me. <laughs> Prove my hatred for small animals. Well, they're tiny and weak, and therefore I should like conquer them. By the way, Dardigan, I don't know if you've ever heard of them, but a YouTuber named Ra Rabtoons did a short video on Final Fantasy Rebirth. I think you would like it. They place Chadley in every scene. <laughs> fitting, actually. Very fitting. I remember laughing rather hard at the beginning of your Far Cry 5 Sins video, the part about that you thought something was like what you thought having sex with you was like. <laughs> My good old self-deprecating humor does show through every once in a while. Uh, Even my sister and brother-in-laws were laughing at that. Well, guys, you were making my night tonight. Thank you. Uh, that's for the wok and the stove that has enough firepower. Mine is more the home cook version, so the fragrant is in the egg white uh, and the white part of scallion. So, yeah, I haven't actually used the white the white part of the scallions. Usually, I use the green part, so I understand that bit actually. That is the more fragrant part of it. <clears throat> I'll give that a shot. Thank you for the advice. Dardigan ASMR. One, you need a proper ASMR mic for that, but. People have talked about that before. Like, I wouldn't mind listening to you speak hornily into my ear. <laughs> speak horny to me, Dardigan. Speak horny to me. You have a soothing voice? So people tell me. Uh, but it's kind of weird. It's only people on the internet who tell me such things. All the people I know in real life uh, are never that impressed with my voice, or they've never remarked on it being anything other than normal. Here now. Speaking of rab tunes, you just auditioned for the Resident Evil 2 video. Could I ask you guys to like my submission on the page? Is that allowed? Yeah, that's a chat. Uh, Lucky, if you're a fan of rab tunes, uh, be sure to like. Apparently, you can like vote on her. Uh, yeah, like your submission. Yeah, like her submission on their page. I'm not sure what, uh, if you know where that is, because we have we could get a member of our our community here in one of them. So I go down here. Why do I not have at least 1k viewers? Feels like he's getting screwed. No, 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 no. Uh, you can never really guesstimate how many viewers someone who will watch a stream versus how many people watch their regular produced content. I have not built my audience on YouTube out of people who r would normally watch live streams since I only just now started live streaming on YouTube. Uh, so, yeah, it makes perfect sense that majority of my subscribers would have no interest in watching a live stream. 
because you know they're just not what they're into they play, they want to watch like me make a produced video that they can watch anytime they want <clears throat> so they just like yeah not interested that's probably fine uh that's just you know something you know maybe i suck i don't know could be that too maybe i'm not that good at streaming but that's just really that way it is i've seen channels with like millions of like subscribers only manage like a few hundred people on a live stream because it's just their audience was not built of people who watch streaming content because it is a very different type of content and it usually attracts a very different type of audience as well live stream people are crazy no offense there that can be there is truth to that Great truth in your words. I think you're doing fine as a streamer. I mean, I like to think that I am, yeah. Uh, but like I said, uh, the YouTube streams have been doing very well. Like right now, if you can, like, if you combine both Twitch and YouTube viewers together, I've been like since for like the past month managing like well over like a hundred viewers all night long. Sometimes at like a few times getting close to like two hundred or so viewers. My hope is that as I stream more on YouTube, more and more people who will like just watch me casually in my YouTube VODs while I give it a shot and maybe like it and stick around but who knows I, I, I don't really worry too much about numbers as long as I got some people watching me and they like it that's enough like streaming is a hobby for me like my actual job is making YouTube videos uh, but for like for streaming that's just fun for me I do it because you know what I like doing it it's enjoyable so why not do it if people want to watch me while I do it that's fine too the, the star, yes. Now, to be fair, I've always said that I don't know if I'd want my streams to get too big because I, if you've noticed, I usually spend a lot of my streams reading chat and interacting with chat. The more busy a stream gets, the more difficult that becomes because chat just starts moving really fast. So you can't really read more than like one or two words out of anyone's posts or like, so yeah, it just gets really difficult at times. So honestly, I would like it if like, I would like to get a little bit bigger streaming. I wouldn't mind that, but I, I wouldn't want to be like huge. Just because I would lose out on that element of reading chat. I also never want to think of streaming as like the actual job. I want that to stay as like YouTube. I want streaming to do what I do is what I just do to like relax and play games. And, but also at the same time get work done while doing it and entertaining people. That's why I like it. <clears throat> it works for me. Alright, so... I need to go back up. And shine and put that thing in place. Up there, I think. One final thing, then I'll shut up about this. Uh, mix the egg yolk with the rice before you go goes in the pan. The rice will be more fluffy when you fry it. Uh, yeah, I can see that happening. Uh, generally, that'd be only, like, immediately after I first cook the rice, because usually I make a big pot of rice, and what I don't use, I put in the fridge. And usually when I'm trying to cook, that'll, like, clump up and need to be, like, declumped, so I have to, like, put that in the pan to fry it up first, just to warm it up, like, declump it. So I probably wouldn't be able to do it all except for, like, nights where, I've, like, the rice is, like, freshly out of, like, the rice cooker. Also, uh, Sea Spooter, thank you for the 38 months. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> bow, bow. I thought for a minute there was going to be a few chickas in there, but you missed out. Hmm. That doesn't go there? Interesting. Interesting that, that would not go there. Huh. You were being the guitar? <laughs> More interactive than someone I should not name, but is famous for May 1st Burst. May 1st Burst. I like your voice so much. Well, hey, thank you. But, uh, you know what? Just consider me like a friend. That's all I am. I'm a friend that you, you're entertained by, and that's all you need. Don't need to be, like, making anything as tribute to me. <laughs> I'm actually quite ordinary. Uh, what am I missing? I thought I put that thing there, but it wouldn't go there.
Mm. Like, seriously, this, this, this just doesn't go there, does it? Hmm. Uh, is there any other? Okay, there is the one up there. I could have, you know, put it in. Technically, AI Dartigan could read your autobiography. AI Dartigan could do so much more and so many scary, terrifying things. Bat, these evil bats are kind of goofy. Where'd you go, buddy? So can I not like burn more of these things? Nope. Not enough range on that. Using the yolk will be easier for you to declump the frozen rice. Can't add yolk to the fresh cooked rice, it'll cook the yolk. Uh, true. It would be a little bit hard. But eventually I do want to get a walk in like a gas, like portable gas cooker. Just so I can do it all properly. AI and Dartigan's voice reading my immortal. Like, hey, if anyone wants to train an AI, there's enough of my voice out there to do it. And then you can have it read whatever filthy, degenerate stuff you want it to read. Can you... Can you not go through there? Don't encourage them. What do the lights do? It's your basic, like, you know, laser beam puzzle. You shine it on something, it opens the door. Pretty common in most games. It's a common feature. It's like we gotta do one more thing and then we can, like... Hmm. You never used Discord, got it to find some mates for Apex, but the whole community seems... Hit this game, oh shit. You get eaten. Take the game more as work than I do, so I gave... Uh, well, if you want to join my Discord, I can assure you no one will hassle you there. It's a good place. You can find a link to it down below in the YouTube player there. At least I think my YouTube com community is pretty good. Oh shit! He just like he distracted his helmet from getting eaten. Okay, 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 okay. Didn't want to use that anymore. <laughs> Having trouble voting for Lucky? Hmm. Probably like a you know not a great website. You have a lot more than one more to go. What, one stream? I mean, that's fine. Whatever. We'll get to it eventually. What is it, Dex? You're making the sad meal. Oh, you just want attention. You want me to look at you. I heard, like, that sound. Meow. Meow. Behind me. Meow. And she's like, as soon as I looked at her, oh, what was that? No, nothing. Nothing. I'm good. How am I doing? I'm great tonight. It's been a really good stream. Chat, I must commend you on your chat energy, chat. You've been wonderful. Also, Polycarp, thank you for the 200 bits, man. Only one stream, but a lot more lasers. Well, I I'm almost done for the night, but I wanted to, like, maybe finish up this puzzle. Wanted to stop in before I hit the hay. Man, you have a good night's sleep. You've earned it. Hope tomorrow is a great day for you. Also, I believe Kate said she wanted to play Lethal Company sometime soon. I'm not sure if she mentioned that to you yet. We 
we ever do a cooking stream? I would like to, but I don't have a computer in my kitchen. I would need to like buy a laptop so I could like possibly do it because I couldn't really cook from my normal streaming area. Need a need ability need, need a bit of portability, you see. Rarely use Discord outside of talking to a specific group of friends. I also have an irrational fear of joining groups, actually. Otherwise, being a lot of them. Yeah, that's understandable. There's a lot of weirdos out there. Wireless camera plus tablet to monitor chat. I don't have either of those. So again, I'm still buying something to make it work. Alright, let's get this going. Oh, that's cool. I'm stuck. Yeah, I'm safe. Uh, I'll put it over there. Yeah, that's right. Put it over there. Very chill felon maxed his RuneScape account yesterday. And what does that mean for us? Is this the end of the world prophecy I've heard so much about? So very easy to become a patron, gain access to a Discord, join and say hi. Then Ben, you've had some unfortunate like fandoms you've joined. I feel in the past. Just tired. Might go to, might go hunt down the remaining shards of Assassin's Creed Mirage. Oof. I don't recommend playing an Assassin's Creed game if you're tired. Can't be, that's like one of those things you don't do before bed. Energies. Powerful energies. Charging those chakras. Is this Carnby? Yeah, this is Carnby. Sound good, chat. Chad, have you ever seen like a tomb in some, some ancient t tomb someone explores that doesn't collapse? I think they just like they, they're, they're required to do so. You can never get out of one without this situation happening.
Ich hab das eben nicht gemacht. Nothing in the game is time limits when the areas collapse, and not so much these days. We got the uh, jaunty dagger. With it, we can kill the golden child. Acknowledge psychological trauma, break through barriers of self deceit, temper manic behavior. These are the dark man's terms. The contract. Huh? He's gonna fall over and fall out of this dimension, isn't he? Well, you know what? Something more interesting. Fly me to the moon. Da 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 da. So this is there's five chapters, so yeah, we'll be beating this tomorrow. I just flew from Egypt by bat. God no, I just got the wind knocked out of me. I think I know how to break the contract with the dark man. What exactly does that mean? Everything going back to normal. Uh, all right. Uh, I found some more information on Dorsetto and the patients. There are some seriously strange things going on here. I'm pretty sure two of the patients are dead and maybe even the clerk. Oh yeah, I kind of just gave up on worrying about that. Well, just keep your eyes open, I suppose. What were you doing again? Jeremy made a pact with the Dark Man to keep all the madness locked inside Dorsetto. All right. I'm gonna break it. I just have to... Where is it? Where's the talisman? It's around your neck. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. I worry, detectives. Don't. I'm fine. I worry that you're not much help on this case. At least you're a good distraction. Trust me. You're getting your money's worth. At this rate, I'm an absolute bargain. Hmm. Dark man's contract. Oh, it, he was actually reading it? I thought he was like just paraphrasing when he was reading earlier. That is literally all you can actually read. Medicine has failed me. Uh, nothing can be done to dispel the heartward curse. Only the sacrificial dagger may release the despair from Jacob's eye. Yet doing so would be the doom of Deserto. Let this curse of mine be a weapon for once. I accept your demands, O crawling chaos. Build your prison around this godforsaken hospital. When evil has been starved, I will stay buried forever. Do the two player characters interact in the game? Uh, not that often as far as I've seen. She doesn't seem to be experiencing any of the weirdness we are too, but if you play as her, I'm sure she does. It's just whoever you're playing has to deal with all the, like, the weird crap. You know what, I should probably save, because it has been a while. Good. Chat, I think that is going to be where we end our play session tonight. So far, save for some dialogue, they go for the exact same place. Yeah, that's why they don't. This not this game didn't have enough budget to have two separate playthroughs. 
So they just had to like, eh, you get a slightly different take on it. Uh, so yeah, we'll be, I think we'll be finishing this tomorrow. And then I'll be free to, you know, put together that, you know, cartoon theme song, you know, tier list stream I've been planning. That should be pretty good. Sorry to keep hyping that up, but I'm a little excited for it. I think it's going to be good content. And I've never done a stream like that before. Uh, but chat, you've all been wonderful tonight. I thank you all for all joining me. Uh, much appreciated. Good energy, everyone. Good energy. <laughs> I sound like I'm doing a seminar. Good energy, everybody. <laughs> Good energy, yeah. Uh, but thank you for joining me. Uh, thank you for chatting with me. Thank you for spending your time with me. Thank you to any, like, memberships, subscriptions, GIF memberships and subscriptions as well. A lot of those thrown around tonight. I appreciate it. As well as bits. Big thanks all. Thank you to the mod team as well. I will be back tomorrow to finish this game, chat. I hope you'll join me for the whatever the big finale ends up being. Probably won't be a full stream, but yeah, that's fine. It gives me more time to work on the script afterward. I am now going to like, uh, maybe try to get sleepy. Have something to drink. Check a few things out and then see what happens. Uh, if you're new to me though, hit that follow button or the subscribe button would be much appreciated. Also hit the like button as well if you're on YouTube. Helps the video out on the, the VOD out, I guess. That's all I got, because I I am tired now. I will see you all tomorrow, chat. Peace out, everyone. Also, thank you, Husky, for the you know, the fried rice recipe stuff. <laughs>